All right, Big Mac, today is uh, Monday. It's January 22nd. Welcome to the Dog Walk, presented by Barstool Sports Snake Draft Monday. Today we are drafting video games. We are joined by Rudy on the desk and Brandon Walker on the couch. Hello, Ed. Uh, you're fucking locked in. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I feel like I've seen you do this somewhere before. But I, I, I do this most days in my life. <laughs> I just draft video games. I list video games, uh, whether it's PS2, Nintendo, any, any of that. You, you're old enough to have run the full gamut. I got the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. I came into video games right when video games popped off. Yeah, Super like Mario Pong. Brothers was when I was six. Nah, Pac-Man and all that was a little before, but I, okay. I, I had it. But Super Mario Brothers and me pretty much hit the market at the same time. Are I, you still cranking like PS5 and shit though? I have a PS5 and I do play. I have a rotation of three video games that I play on PS5. Okay. Uh, I play the show. I play Madden. I play 2K and I play the golf game. And then I also play NHL. Gotcha. Didn't he say three? And he just listed yeah. five. That got to be ready. Okay. It's deep, okay. deep board for Brandon. I thought, I thought Brandon's first pick was going to be like an abacus or something like that. <laughs> with the old what ass. time last night did you come up with with the abacus line? I just came up with it right now. Okay. All right. I go off dome, bro. <laughs> uh, and then I think we have me and Chief who are like, I'm late 90s to like early 2000s. You're kind of like whole 90s what's the first system y'all ever had i had 64. a nintendo i had an nes sega genesis 60, sega genesis 64 was my first yeah well it's, i got sega too you were yeah. a genesis boy y'all were both genesis boys yeah, yeah. 64 genesis we had them first. both i went from uh i went from nintendo to to sega genesis Same. oh wait what was the dreamcast that was a sega that was, that was after that was between that was like uh, a playstation era that yeah. may have been me actually i okay. think about it you had a Dreamcast? Sega Saturn I had, I had Dreamcast. I had Dreamcast was awesome. Was, it was it underrated? Banged. It was very I underrated. Dreamcast. It was underrated. It was the f first time graphics were like, holy shit, that looks real. Also the first time you could burn video games. Because it was oh, the first CD. Right. No, I, Sega Saturn was the first CD. And I, I, well, Sega CD. But I, I had a, uh, I had a guy. One of my partners was just a big time burn guy. And he, he gave me every Dreamcast game. Dreamcast was awesome. Got a bad rap. It did. Yeah. P PS2 cucked it. Yeah. PS2, yeah. once they announced PS2, it was over. It was mm -hmm. done. Which is a shame because original Sega Genesis was good. I don't think I ever owned a PlayStation 2, though. However. Really? I didn't. I PlayStation no. 2 is the greatest video game system that's ever been created by human people. I think I, I went. I would disagree I with that. I, I don't give a PS2 fuck what you would not. disagree with, Dave. I would disagree. I'd say 64, but I see your. 64 uh, was, was my great. 64 is my favorite, but I won't. 64 right, was right, right. also the first one you could have four controls just plugged right yep. in, too. Yeah. It was agree. The Rumble but 64 pack. was so blocky and ugly. Oh, but right. that was kind of the charm to it. It was the last one where you could blow it in the cartridge to fix it. Did yeah, that, see, I I I only had sixty four for a minute. I went from PS one to PS two, oh, and, and I stopped at sixty four. Oh, for like, you uh, missed that was. No, we, we did the Golden Eye and Super and Mario Kart nights. Okay, those Just were tip big. picks left and right, I guess. Uh, and then we got Rudy, who's like our modern age guy, who's on Twitch. Yeah, I do play video games pretty frequently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got some old. I I I got oldies in here. I'm older than people think. That How old are you, Rudy? I'm thirty. That is older than I would have guessed. He me, strikes yeah. me as a 25 year old. Yeah, yeah I, I have a 27. Yeah, yeah. I, I work very hard to maintain that 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 lie. Mm -hmm. 28 grade. Yeah. Wow. You're, uh, you're pretty much done with life then. This yeah. is it for you. Oh, 30, 30 is the that's the down path. Oh, big time. Yeah. That downhill, Dave. Downhill. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, we could get into it. Um, Walker. Uh, Lance has the number one through five behind yeah. his back. What number is it? Lance is thinking of the number two. No. Rudy. Three. No. Chief. Four. No. Fuck. Dave. One. Yes. I'll go first. <clears throat> All right. Uh, one through four to me. I'm going to say three. Yes. I'll go two. Uh, one through three, Walker. One. Yep. I'll go last in the first round. Uh, one or two, Rudy. One. No. Chief. Two. Three or four. I'll go third. I have you embodied out here. All right. So the order is White Sox, Dave, Eddie, Chief, Rudy, Brandon. Um, congrats to me for winning the Sports Traditions Draft. I don't know if you saw that, Brandon, but I didn't. I won it. I, I I don't like him. I think he's a piece of shit human. I thought I thought Rico had the best draft there, but congratulations to you for winning it. Thank you. Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, people, you had to listen to the draft to hear the context of that pick. Oh, I think that's a dumb pick, but I, I, yeah. I didn't see the rest of the draft, but I, congratulations on your victory. I know it was well-earned. He only brings up 
the previous week's results. If if, you want. Yeah, if you that's want. that's yeah. true. No, I'm, these guys no. are trying to shit on cancer kids at Iowa when I drafted it. I would also have shit on that one. Yeah, that's that you is guys the, have lumps of. Coal it's for one heart. of the most try hard traditions. Look how awesome we are. Look how great people we are. And they just started it like three years ago. Yeah, like, we're waving at kids. Traditions right? have to start sometime. Just because it's new doesn't mean nobody great. wants you to know how cool that tradition is more than Iowa fans want to want to pat themselves on the back for being look great. how nice we are. Yeah. Look at us. Do you think those cancer kids that are on their last breaths... You think those cancer kids give a fuck about a fat guy from De- Des Moines yet I, waving at him? I think those cancer kids would rather see a first down. Yeah. Yeah, they can't get Maybe those. a touchdown every now and then. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. a cure. I don't know. Yeah. So, or that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. So this is Desert Island video games? Desert Island, yeah. So under the scope of that, think about this. Oh, this is the last fuck. five you could ever play. The best video games you, you in your life, basically. Yes. Desert okay. Island changes a lot. Desert it, it, Island. It does change a lot. So, well, how do you want to do it? Just the great, greatest it, or it, what? It changes a lot because, like... You need replayability. Re- if you beat well, what, a game... What good video game doesn't have replayability? That's, that, that's a good point. Every, every good video game does, but if it's just like a story mode, you're going to get sick of it. If it's something yeah. like New Aged, it doesn't end. It keeps updating. It keeps getting better. They add things. They take things away that people don't like. It's constantly refreshing. Story mode games just took a plummet. In the in the draft. that that's a, a fair criticism. On that exact note, though, I am going to go old school. I'm going with the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. It's the number one video game of all time. Greatest storyline. When you beat it, you feel accomplished. It takes months to beat. Uh, if anybody says they can beat the Water Temple in less than a week, is lying. Um, it's it's the greatest game of all time, and I I still love each and every one of those songs. Dave, give it to us. Do, 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 no, I was gonna. I was waiting for your Ocarina of Time story, the Water Temple story. Oh, that's, water, which that's one? a Donkey Kong that's, story. Yeah, oh, it's Donkey Kong current, story. current yeah, uh, world record I'll speed run. Current right. world record speed run of the Water Temple. Water Temple is an hour and forty-seven minutes. That's excuse me, one minute forty-seven seconds. See, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that's possible. This is the one where the weird neighbor and his weird sister played, so I never played it. it how long does oh, it take? It Oh, it takes months to beat. That's how a lot of 64 games were, though. Um, one water I mean, temple took that long to no, beat? No. I mean, if you know how to beat it and play it again, it'll take you a week. Was this an official draft pick? He picked yes. the yeah, time of time. Was, yeah, yeah, he yeah. went right into it. Yeah, he, I don't know why he did that, but okay. he did. Um, <laughs> he, he was, why not? He was first uh, out of the gates. We were still yeah. debating. Yeah. Like, you didn't even sign up. You just went we, right into it. No, a, we were talking about could, how... We were talking about something, correct? Yeah, so this, yeah. Is, this is a desert <laughs> island game. It's a story mode. You're not playing against anybody other right, than... But you just don't, we were having that conversation about what what the, the parameters, the little bookshelves of video games. Yeah, exactly. And you said, speaking of, my number one pick is this. And in spite of... In spite of... Zelda being a game that has a finite yeah. ending, it has a concrete ending. Sure, it, sure. It, but you could have waited it, and yeah. been like, you remember what we were talking about earlier? That was like Adele I, talking about the cancer kids, and then all of a sudden you busted in with the correct. first pick. I feel like no, we, we transitioned from the cancer we, kids. We were talking about video games. We were talking about video games. Speaking of, we speaking games of cancer again. kids in their room, they probably have Ocarina of Time, which is my number one pick. That's so that's what you just did. <laughs> that's not what I just did. We started talking about that how, been a better how video games have yeah. evolved to where they're constantly updating. And but there was never a formal did, announcement. Yeah, typically I, I say you're right on the clock, and you just kind of, you just. You went from the, the preamble. You, you push Roger Goodell off yeah, the stage. Yeah, you pushed Goodell right to the stage. And, <laughs> and Ocarina of Time should be pushing Roger Goodell off the stage because Ocarina of Time is bigger than Roger Goodell. It's the best video game of all time. That's And that's not like a me thing even. A ton of people agree that it's the best game hey, Dave, that's ever been written. We'll find out. We about, sure will. In about four days. Yeah. Yeah. If a ton of people agree with you, yeah, yeah, I, I, I mean, you can Google that. I mean, it is a banger. It's a certified. I know Zelda's wildly popular. It's a certified banger. hood classic for sure. It's a what? It's a certified hood classic. You're gonna talk like that the whole fucking time. <laughs> yeah, he's only he's only seventeen. Dude, I'm only yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm an eighteen year old Twitch streamer. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna talk about. <laughs> I What's tell up, you to guys? Do Check out the YouTube. Yeah. What did you say before you, we, we started recording? You're valid in every hood. Yeah. Yeah. Shut the fuck Dead up. Dead ass. <laughs> Are you going to start saying cop and stuff like that and yeah. all these millennial terms mm-hmm. that make me cringe? Bop, bop, bop lore. Yeah. I don't know bop that one. So he's he's that ahead one? of you. Like, he you just made that up. Yeah. Bop yeah. He could have, and I wouldn't thing. know. Yeah. Yeah, old. Hurry up, old Dave makes a second and Dave, <laughs> we're millennials. He doesn't use. He uh, no, I'm not a millennial. Yeah, you are. I can identify otherwise. You're transitioning. Yeah, to Gen Y or Z, whatever is older than me. You don't even know which. You're in the portal, and you don't know which which generation yeah, you're going fine. to. Recruit me. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Pay me. Huh. I'll be in Brandon's in, in <laughs> his generation. You can, you can handle life as, a, as an extra, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm up. Uh, I'm taking Mario Kart. Nice. Which one? 64. Okay. The, the, uh, the well, that's a very uh, important delineation, don't you think? Yeah, I, I don't. I, I mean, I know I, it's wildly popular now. Like, I'm sure your kids play it and shit. But yeah. um, I don't know. It's still. I feel like it's still fine, but there was nothing like the original. No, and I know that's just me talking not. because I grew up on it. But regardless, it's the best group game. Uh, Drunk Driver was a <laughs> yeah. great addition to when you're even mm-hmm. older. Um, there's a lot of good things about Mario Kart 64. I agree. Could have gone 1 1. Yeah. Probably should have. Probably should have, to be honest. Mm-hmm. You none of you guys have played Zelda. Well, I then. do. I I have. Well, excuse me. Not Ocarina of Time. What 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 makes you think you're the only one that had this video game? <laughs> yeah. You. It's the it most popular it, game you, ever. You, you, you guys j- haven't played it. I know you haven't. I haven't. But Brandon is like. I, I know I, he hasn't. Rudy said it was a banger. Brandon. Said, I never beat it and played it for hours and hours and hours. I have played the game. It, you can't comment on it if you've only played for like here and there then. Yeah, no, I think you, you can. can't. I, you have no idea what's going on. It's not like you drop into a fucking I battle a royale and just start shooting people. We all have mics. We can comment comment on all this stuff, right? Yeah, don't yeah. talk about Zelda, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he can't no, he can't give an opinion it's of not, it's you're good not or in bad. a race. It's not a race. You're, <laughs> you're not, not a Zelda guy. <laughs> <laughs> he might be a, a Ness Zelda guy, which is absolutely something that could go in the first round as well. Yeah, don't say the Z word, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 SNES Zelda was you know, that was the best Zelda. Mm. I couldn't beat it. Uh, there you go. We'll get there you there. go. <laughs> <laughs> it was also a little. I was young, young playing it. All right. So no arguing Mario Kart sixty four. No, no, I think no, no, just, no, absolutely. The only That's argument is that Dave should have taken it. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. Pick. It's great one of your pick. classic get together Saturday night. Yep. You got a thing of Miller Lights and, and yes. four buddies, six buddies, eight buddies, and you just rotate in and out. Yep. And, and Desert Island, talk about replayability. like All day, every day. All day, because mm-hmm. it's just like, I'll beat you in the next race. It doesn't oh. matter that you've run Rainbow Road a thousand times. Like, I, the thousand and one is going to be great. I'd be interested to go down the line and see, like, in your head, what is the most iconic uh, map? Like, what's the most iconic track? Because I think there's one that's... Oh. Everybody has... The, the one that, but I think there's that's one the that like one, is though. like the thing, and I think it's Wario Stadium. Yeah, that yeah, that's a good. One. I like the castle a lot. Uh, it was a Bowser's castle. Bowser's castle yeah. is great. Too. I like yeah. the castle yeah. a lot. Mm-hmm. I feel like Rainbow Road was the most memorable. Like it, the alliteration, you said the play visually. It, you said played a thousand times. Rainbow, Rainbow Road was like never played. I feel because oh, it was, I think it was. Uh, I it, was it was long. Everybody it was a pain in the it. ass. Yeah. It was like visually annoying. What was the one on the island? That's oh, the one Kubitru- I would. I, I would take that. that as that's a, the it, one I like the most. They had that secret passage. Kubitru- Kubitru- yes. Yes. Okay, what about the ice one with the penguins? I well, wouldn't say those meet the Koopa Troopa Beach. I got bodied. Stadium. I got bodied on that map. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. they'll get you. Yeah. yeah. They'll get you in a heartbeat. Got bodied. They're I like Rainbow up. Road, but that's probably because I remember it the best because it it it's got colorful. the most um, mm. emotion out of people. Because yeah. yeah. You fly off that thing, or you try to do the jump <gasps> skip. The jump, yeah, yeah. You try to do the jump skip, and the whole night's over. It was next level, yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry, right. self-explanatory. Mario Kart 64. On this desert island, we 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 have power, obviously. We, yeah, it's yeah. basically like the, TV? Lo- the island from Lost, where you find the bunker and you can just go and do whatever you want. Yeah. A, a yeah. generator, at least. Dude, yeah. imagine if they got down there in that hatch and it was just a it was just a 64 with Mario Kart. <laughs> oh my <laughs> we're good. god! <laughs> no one, no one They're tried to get out that yeah. smoke signal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm fine. We're yeah. we're cool. Yeah. Yeah. Put Save. out the fire, dude. <laughs> SOS is canceled. <laughs> so. Save the flare. Yeah, Chief. Uh, Goldeneye. Goldeneye. Yeah. Elite first person shooter game. That one was like, I feel I was in like fifth grade, I think, fourth or fifth grade. And it was just like everybody got it all at once. Everybody was playing it for years on end. Uh, I know Ed said he played it recently and it doesn't hold up, right? I don't believe it. I don't believe you either. I I won't. You played it? Yeah, I have. I think it does hold up. Really? And and have you you seen the clip of the, the dad as a black guy? Uh, firing up his N64 for the first time in 20 years, and his son, and he's like, "That's your ass player." Like it's it's the best reaction video I've seen on Twitter in the last 10 years. It's so it's so up. great. He's just so excited. And when James Bond gets out there and does dun, that, dun, oh dun, my god, that's awesome. yeah. yeah, it's and great. The screen it, starts. It, it is awesome, and all like the little characters were fun too. Uh, different weapons, like proximity odd mile. Job. Yeah, odd, odd job. job. Yeah, odd job. You were not allowed to be him. He's too small. You can't you can't shoot him. Can't be odd. What job. was your favorite map in that game? I was a seven hour bunker. Loved the seven hour bunker. I wasn't good at that game. Really? I wasn't. I was awesome at that game. I, that was that was the game I probably spent the most 
hours on. In Is my there life. anything you don't think you're awesome? <laughs> yeah. No, but Dave. Dave I'll, was. I'll out, talk about it plenty in coming up. Probably. I was in the car with Dave yesterday, and he was talking about um, how our sales guy Nick was like Dave in the area. Dave was known as like the best athlete until about eighth grade. I feel like Dave was the best sophomore year. Dave was the best at everything <laughs> until people grew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Video games. He Video was games the were all the same height though. But hit, but like he, no certain he developed. games I was good at certain games I completely blow at I'll I will talk about the games I blow at even though I still love a lot of them. I do kind of agree with that point because I was I could not get this I could not get the hang of Golden Eye and I would it would be every Saturday night the same group of six of us and I just wait for Mario Kart we we we'd go a couple hours Golden Eye a couple hours Mario Kart and I was a Mario Kart guy I was not a Golden Eye guy I would just get you're destroyed. the only person that's ever said that because Golden Eye is another pick that could have gone one one I think it's an all time, all it's probably what do you the best think I just person. said? Climbing through the vents, it's he, all time great. Well, it's wait. you're the, an extreme outlier. Well, he extreme. said, What do you think I just said? <laughs> I know it blows my mind that you're saying that as a self proclaimed video game guy that's seen all of them. It blows my mind. What do you think I said? <laughs> You just said you don't like Goldeneye. You had to. You stunk at it, so you would wait for it. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Explain to me what you said, then, Brandon. I said I wasn't good at it. I tried and tried and tried. I just wasn't good at it. That's what I said. Okay. I didn't say it stunk at a, at, at any point. Did I say that? Even if it stinks, though, you're chomping at the bit to get say- the controller. Even if you stink at it. Even if you stink at the game. You're still chopping at the bit to what get the controller. What are you arguing? Yeah. Yeah. That, it's crazy that you would put the controller down and, and at any point for any reason. Dude, I don't know how, even you, if I don't know how you handle this. <laughs> you, you're getting bodied, dude. <laughs> I'm not in a fight right now. No, yeah, you're getting I, pounded. I don't even have the gloves on. <laughs> I'm not trying to argue. I'm. It, <laughs> right, just, you are. I'm, I'm not. I'm thinking out loud. How anybody could say, no, I'll wait for another video game when presented with Goldeneye is crazy it's crazy dave the other guys around me were better then get better i don't know you still keep playing <laughs> Step it's, up, wild. Dude. it's wild <laughs> dude it's wild dude you, it's you sound, wild you, sound you don't crazy. turn on gold eye at anything for anything you sound crazy. it's golden eye yeah you sound crazy <laughs> thank you rudy yeah he's mocking you dave i know he's mocking me <laughs> i'm mocking him mocking me <laughs> oh, you never shit. turn down golden eye are now you, i'm in it are you trying to insinuate that dave does not listen <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't know what just happened. I, we, I, here, I'm going to go counterpoint here. Okay. Interesting. Three picks off the board, all three in 64 games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, true. Because it's the best system ever. It's not at all. That's that's interesting to me. Yeah. I don't think it's a top three system. <sighs> no, that's crazy. No, it's not. Super Nintendo was better. Craziness. PS2 More was better. Craziness. It's hard to compare with like the tech, like the technology advance. No, you can definitely compare. It's PlayStation. <laughs> it's PlayStation. Are you going to disagree with everything everybody says? It's PlayStation. Why is it 4. hard? <laughs> I don't think tech necessarily makes game better. Sometimes cheesy, shitty graphics make a game better because it adds to the charm of the game. At no point has that ever happened. Ever. If you are in a room with an N64 and a PlayStation 4, you're not going to pick the N64. Oh, I don't agree with That's, that. I, how, I would rather play. Uh, Mario Kart than anything that's on like a Madden or something a sports yeah, game on like definitely a system. Right. yeah I agree with that. Right. definitely all right. um, no 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 but that's your nostalgia work yeah that's what I mean it, he's no. what he's saying is if you if you came in blind and you saw a PS4 next to an N64 no 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 new gamers picking the 64 is what he just said yeah like you're gonna pick a rickshaw because it's that, like oh I remember the old days and look that that's not fair in Babylon can, those were cool but like, like or am I gonna go with like, a Ferrari. You, you can still be entertained in and like people still play chess but our yeah. nostalgia is coloring our answers here there's no denying yeah, that no, sure. time maybe Definitely. sure maybe no. I also just I th- but I am of the belief that video games got, got a little too good and took a little away from it especially I, I agree game. with that wholeheartedly yeah. but I don't think the 64 was the peak before that yeah. happened. like Ma- like Madden no. undoubtedly got worse but yeah all yeah. Of them oh got, yeah got, yeah got yeah. way worse yeah. oh big time uh Rudy you're up um this is tricky I'm gonna go with one. I, I kind of want a defense defensive draft, maybe. No, I'm just gonna go with me. I'm gonna go Halo Three. Halo Three. Is that the third one? Yeah, yeah. I would mm-hmm. say so. I I was tempted to go Halo original, but the thing is that if like Desert Island, Halo Three has all of the good parts of Halo One and Two, obviously. 
We got SWAT. We got the Forge. Talking Desert Island, that Forge will keep you up, keep you alive for a long time. The Forge is like the first time they introduced you could like do map editor and create your own like mini games like racetrack. So you can hypothetically play Mario Kart in Halo. So that's like in terms of like Desert Island, that's why that one's perfect. See, like that's too much for me. I just want to play Mario Kart. Sometimes some places. You're not an rules. inventor. Halo was a uh, Xbox exclusive, right? Yes. Yeah. I never had an Xbox. Is it still? Or they haven't made it's, one. Yeah, no, it still like, is. Oh, forever. Yeah. That's, that's like their crown jewel still. Yeah. Um, that Halo 3 is right when I stopped playing video games. But the first two were incredible, so I'll take your word for it. Yeah. And you want to talk about a moment in time? Halo 3 coming out. I was in high school. It, the world stopped. Kids were skipping school yeah. to play it and like wait in line and get it. It was a, a watershed event. Are you Wait-in. in on this? No, no. I just I, I, I remember that feeling of um, of of skipping school the next day. I remember that feeling of, of lining up at GameStop at midnight to yeah. make sure you were the first one to get it. Yep. Incredible feeling. So is it that uh, feeling doesn't exist anymore? It doesn't. No. You're just downloading. Rico Bosco out. wrote that awesome blog a couple like a year ago maybe about how waiting in lines you just don't do it really anymore and like it it hits home because you used to just my dad I remember when Xbox came out he got it for Christmas for the family waited outside Walmart or whatever overnight yeah like that doesn't happen anymore that's true yeah we kind of lost our our love for lines well no, it's yeah standing I feel lines. like like way back in the day that's like all people did I don't think anyone loved lines so. well that is the point you love something so much you put up with the line because everybody hates lines but um but yeah Halo is all it's, is it unanimously seen as the best one though number three. Uh, I think that's debatable, but in general, yes. Okay, Lance, it's where it Lance all came not together. There too, it is. Yeah. Lance, I would say, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> I like remember the time. Like I'm a little younger too. That like everybody played Halo. Like you know, all my friends and stuff. It was one of those things where I bought an Xbox so I could play Halo with my friends. Yeah, you know. And but that was the first time you weren't playing like four controllers plugged in. You were playing online with your friends. Yeah, for sure. And you were playing in front of your computer, and you had the fucking the headsets, and it was revolutionary. And it was Halo that did that. Mm-hmm. You're playing first-person shooters against, you know, people in Europe and shit. It's a, it, it, it was wild at the time. Yeah. Halo 3. Halo All right, three. Brandon. All right. Um, so I'm just doing my favorite video games because I feel like what a couple of people are doing is, is you know, we're taking great multiplayer games. You took a great multiplayer game. So did, so did Eddie. Um, I don't know if there's going to be other people on this desert island, so I'm just going to take care of myself. And I'm going to play my favorite video game. Selfish. The greatest. How are you going to be selfish when you're the only Take one on care of yourself. It's I mean, called a deserted island. You you got to prepare for everything on a deserted island. Just say to prepare just, for everything. Just Someone say, might stab you over this pick if they if they land on a different part of the island find you. The later, greatest sports game ever crafted by human hands came out in 2004 for the PS2, which is the greatest video game system that ever was. It has the greatest video game soundtrack ever, and I am talking about MVP Baseball 2005 with uh, Manny Ramirez on the cover. It is the greatest baseball game ever. It is the it is probably the game I've logged the most hours on in my life. Even after four years after, five years after, six years after, I would still be going on, on that game. Uh, that is my favorite game, and I'm not going to be deserted anywhere without MVP Baseball 2005. It's a great game. I would say my that was like my freshman year of college. Mm-hmm. That was the game that was played the most. We had like we had a no Tim Wakefield rule. Like you couldn't use Tim Wakefield. Yep. Like he was basically unhittable in that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a great pick. I think it's a, it's the best baseball game ever. Yes, it, it's I, it, yeah, it's a good one. I it, I was in seventh grade at the time, and I remember I played that the most. But what, what, why was that the best one? I don't 05. know. I don't know. Well, 04, the, the, the meter and stuff were a little, they hadn't quite figured it out yet. And then that was the last one. The next year, they didn't do another one. They did, uh, they switched to NCAA baseball oh. because Madden had taken all the pro licensing for football. And as a counter to that, I believe 2K took baseball. So they couldn't make another MLB baseball game. Oh, EA shit. Sports couldn't. So that was the last one. Oh. Right when they were figuring out the formula, they no longer could make a, a, a Major League Baseball game. And they have oh. EA hasn't made one since? I don't know that they have. Um, doesn't EA develop Super Mega Baseball? So that's not even – yeah, they don't do an MLB game anymore. It was hmm. good. It was very good. It was good. a good one. It's, 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 it's my favorite. And like I said, PS2 is my favorite system ever and will we'll be making multiple appearances on my list. Who was on the cover in 04? 
Oh four was uh I think Pujols. Oh five was Manny. That sounds right. Was Sosa on one or was that Slug? Sosa was on a high heat, okay, I believe. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And he might have been on a Slugfest too. Yeah. Or he might have actually he might have been Slugfest only. I also have to retract. That was the second most played video game in my dorm because the f- number one that I hope to get, I I got an academic probation basically because of a game. You know, we'll talk about that we one later. We will talk perhaps. about that one later. Yeah. All right, so I'm up again. Yep. So, uh, um, so wait, this, does it hold up? Does it hold up? Have you played it recently? Uh, I play it. I, I it's downstairs in my office right now. Really? Yeah. We can go play it right. We can go play it after this if you'd like. And it's still good. I think it is. Okay. All right. Sorry. Um. Uh. Yeah. So my number two, which will hold up to the end of time, is on the Nintendo Entertainment System, hmm. and it's a game I can throw in right now and march right through, and it's still challenging. I won't get all the way through it. It is Mike tyson's punch out uh pound for pound probably the video game i played the most in my life um if you count years of my life if you count like i've been playing it since i was eight um so i i love punch out i love everything about punch out i have punch out posters on my wall i have i mike tyson's punch out to me is the perfect video game even though it came out in 1987 i don't think that i've ever played it I it's, have, I've no, I've seen it. I've seen it. It was, yeah. it was definitely like before. It's an older video time. game. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm fine with with you guys not having the same experience as me. Yeah, like Portnoy would probably vote for you. No, I don't he think he would. I don't think he would. No. I don't okay. think he would. I thought ever. you were gonna pick Tech Mobile. That's what I. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's uh before my time, like they said, but I, it's one of those things that I do have respect for. Yeah. Like I know I'd like that shit if I was in that time period. Everybody from Brandon's age group swears by it so i just it's, i just take their word for it and like i have no business knowing who joe glass is glass joe yeah glass, glass joe. joe glass yeah. joe but i know him. yeah mm-hmm. that's that's my pick there's yeah. my first two i won't win this draft but i'm staying true to myself I respect i've decided that. to do that from now on you're kind of swaying me on that a little yeah. you're swaying me on that a little uh so am i up yep you're up already okay this is damn these i don't know how you guys do this every week this is hard uh i'm gonna go with I'm going to go old school since I went a little bit newer school. I'm going to go Super Smash Bros. Love it. Yeah, Super Smash Bros. Uh, I I was rocking it on the GameCube with my boys. I actually didn't have it myself. Wait, so you're picking the GameCube version? That's just what I had. That's just what I okay. had. Well. So that's what I that's what I went up on. I'm sure it's good on a lot of different systems, but I my friend, my best friend Chase had it. Mom making us ramen. I would go over to that house and stay there forever just because of Super Smash Bros. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I, I don't know how different the GameCube one is. Though. Yeah, I don't either. I've never, I don't think it's that different. I mean, Super no. Smash Bros. is is sort of, if it's, it's, it's not like about the, the system. It's about, 64 version. It's about the button mash. And it's, it's, about the it's about the game. It's about the game. Who are your guys' characters? Kirby. Kirby. I was Kirby. Yeah. Kirby was the best. I, I, like the, I like the fox. Oh yeah, yeah. Star Fox, Star Fox. Yeah. I don't want to sound like the old guy in the room, but I, whenever I play Smash Brothers, especially the modern versions that my kids have, my eyes can't keep up. It's just shit going on all. It's just, it's just. Well, it's I, shit down. I'm kind of yeah. with you. When they make it HD, yeah, it's like those colors hit your. I mean, it's, just, it's it's just so much going on, and there'll be 38 hits, and I'm like, what, 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 yeah. what just happened? When it was lower res, that didn't really hit your frontal lobe the way the new ones do. Okay, all yeah, right. fair enough. Those things have penetrating power. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Like the noises. Yeah, it's dude, it's an assault on the senses, dude. Have you ever seen like the competitive Smash players play? I wouldn't be able to even. It's know like where a to fucking. Start. It's like a fucking rave. Yeah, like the screen. I, don't, I don't know how. I don't know how you keep up with it, dude. I, it's like a literally like a seizure warning. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, Super Smash Classic. I love it. Yeah, all time great game. I feel you, uh, Chief. You're up. I'm. You're gonna take what I'm gonna take next, and that sucks. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that I am. I think you are. Well, I'm taking NHL '96. Oh, okay. No, you're not. '96. '96. So '94 gets all the love, right? '94 gets all the love. Great game. I had. That was the first hockey game I had on Sega was yeah. NHL 94. I think that the season mode is uh-huh. better in 96. They had both the hits where you could you could put people through the glass. You could break the glass with the puck. Yeah. You could Fighting was back in 96 because they, they took it out of the game because it was too violent or something, but they brought it back in 96. I think 96 is the best version of that run of the mid-90s. Um, and, like, the trades were, were easier and better. Uh, so yeah, I'm taking. I, I loved NHL '96. That's probably the game I have played 
or logged the most hours uh, in my entire life combined. And that's so, all in Sega Genesis. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I'm gonna play that when I get home. You should. It's Do awesome. you have it? I have uh, emulators and oh, stuff that have okay. everything, everything yeah. waiting there for me. Those are great. Yeah, yeah. 96 was awesome. <laughs> great. The Hawks were unbeatable in that game. Chelios, Belfour, Ronick, like they were. They as, ha- as the resident hockey guy here <laughs> in the room, I, I approve of that pick. I think okay, that was great. A, that was Glad a, we're on the that was a decent, same page. That was a decent pick yep. by you. The Hawks were the Hawks were dynamite in that game. They You're were. talking about Chelios and the Chelios other guys. To, to break Bur- people, Ronick would Ronick, break people, yeah. but he scored a zillion goals. I think it's goals, Ronick, but yeah. And you couldn't beat uh, you couldn't beat Belfour. Belfour couldn't beat Belfour. Eddie the Eagle, the best. Imagine thinking you could beat Belfour. You can't. No, Absolutely Guys not. like us, we know. And I want to say they had a shootout mode in 96 too, so you could just do that like yeah. kind of you know forever with your buddies too, just do shootouts because that would rotate if you had a big group over. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, NHL 96. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm, I'm I got the only time I ever got in trouble – was I, it must have been a couple years after 96 i can't remember exactly how old i was i was young and i was i hated lying i was a really bad liar but i was good, so obsessed quality. i was so upset i was just a pussy <laughs> i was so obsessed with this nhl game it had to be like 99 2000 maybe but i faked being sick because i couldn't Put i like i couldn't physically yeah. go to school with this game existing I had to play it, and then at like 4 p.m. the next day, after I stayed home all day playing it, I like just came clean. I was like, "Yeah, I fucking lied," no. <laughs> but I still got the gaming. I still got the gaming in, so I was like, "I'm good." I fucking lied. Tell yeah. you how good those early Sega hockey games were. Even NHL hockey up in '93, '94, '95, '96. I was in Mississippi. I didn't watch hockey. I, yeah. I was aware of hockey, but I got those games, and they were awesome, unbelievable. Yeah. I just wanted to play them all the time, just like Rudy did. This is another one where I feel like the the tech, like. While objectively better visually, kind of ruined what made it good. Ma- yeah, the game like the there. I feel like the NHL games became unplayable with hockey. Time. Simple is better than video. Game I think form, so. And they're I like, think, oh, yeah. like you can do all these little stick handling moves. Like I don't want to do that. I want to come around the circle and come to yeah. the slot and hammer home a slap shot for a goal. Right. But if yeah. I remember correctly, the other ones were terrible. Like they couldn't figure out like oh, football, you're right. and they couldn't figure out for EA. Uh, yeah, no, well, for for Sega. Oh, for Sega. Like Sega. Yeah, the the ones that went side to side were never good. There's yeah. one, Brett Hall Hockey '95 is okay. I don't remember playing that one. There's one f- football game for Sega that, that they figured was, out. I th- I think it was awesome. Yeah, it's still like burned into my brain. Um, I only I, played like Disney games on Sega from what I remember. Aladdin and Lion King. Mm-hmm. Lion King Those was specifically. Yes. Aladdin had they had the one code. Aladdin was amazing. No, I <laughs> yeah. know they were. They were both yeah. were fantastic. I got to scar one time, and Lion King didn't beat him. Never Lion King back. is known as one of the hardest games of all time. Have you, have you ever beaten a video yeah. game? Uh, Good yeah. question, Rudy. I don't think I have. Zelda. Okay, yeah, you can uh, say that. I can't say that. So. Yeah, you don't talk about yeah. Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, don't talk say, about Zelda. Don't talk about Zelda. Yeah. Wait, is it really Lion King is known as like the hardest game oh, of all it's time? A, it's, it's one so of the, it's one the, of, that yeah. one scene really? where the your Simba there's and a the stampede's coming at you. Yeah, you yeah. you have to jump to pixel perfect. You have to jump to the to like minute detail, and it's it's very hard for yeah. kids. I, I I could get past the, the stampede you're talking about. Yeah. I could get past that pretty easily. It was the, the monkey uh, the, tree. The too. bug <laughs> toss was what bug fucked toss. me up bug toss. all the time. Rudy's just toss. enamored with Dave. <laughs> it's just everything you say. <laughs> like, I could do it. I could do it easily. <laughs> just runs the ball right <laughs> down your throat. No it's problem. true. <laughs> it was the bug toss that would always fuck me up, though. Yeah. Um, now I think I know what you're going to take, and I kind of wish I took it because I don't think you would have taken 96. No. Nah. And, but now I'm like, do I play Dave? You know? What do you think he's going to You just draft the, whatever the, you want to fucking the draft. Mermaid. But you, I want a full board. There's okay. a lot of good picks. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm going to take it because Dave might take it. NBA Jam. Yeah, that's what I should have done. No, I wouldn't have taken it. Well, great. Sorry. All-time great game, though. Yeah. Uh, there was something about the simplicity of just having two guys and you were able to yeah. rotate one. I was like, ooh, who's the third one? So that was actually the second version of NBA Jam. W- which is what i um, Yeah, so I had, the, I had the first one. We were locked into two guys. And that was it, and that. But you're right, and that gave birth to like that a whole genre of sports games. After that, they had a hockey version, they had an NFL version, but that was that was awesome, and it was like you had to, like you were at a supreme disadvantage if you took a big guy and a small guy. The like one of those teams. First time I saw NBA Jam, I was 14, and I was in Oxford, Mississippi, for like a school conference, and I saw it, and I was like this. Video games will never get better than this. They will, <laughs> they will never, ever. This is it. He's this is the pinnacle. Fire. We made it. It's we made st- it. 
<laughs> it's still awesome. We had right before COVID in 2020, we had a NBA Jam tournament yeah. at Joe's on Weed. Sold out. Wall to wall. It was 800 crazy. people. People yeah, were nuts. going. We had, I don't know, put probably eight, 12 different TVs. Where yeah, people I think were there were 64 teams. Or yeah, like, like at a least a bracket. Then they're like, it, even if you weren't playing, people showed up with thunder sticks to yeah. like, like cheer on their buddies. Student and section. It was, fucking it was wild. Awesome. We got to run that back. We should run that. And, that, that was uh, so much fun. Yeah. And uh, yeah, NBA Jam. NBA we had Jam's ringers stuff. coming out for it too. Yeah. Like did. people would legit tour with looking for. NBA Jam tournaments for money and go and just hustle people. Mm. It's a great game. Great game. Elite. Uh, White Sox, Dave. Uh, I am going to go DK64 with this pick. Another 64 classic. Um, go ahead, Dave. Dave, what would you like me to say? I want I want to hear the story about your brother and how you yeah. So uh, I forget what we were fighting about. My uh, so in the game you can beat the game, but without getting every golden banana the objective is to get every golden banana but you can technically beat the final boss without having gotten every golden banana so i had beaten the game i hadn't gotten every golden banana there's 191 of them total in the game i had 190 and i was it was this fucking race where you take chunky kong and you smash through a well and it's like a shoot and you got to duck and dive all these obstacles and i could never beat it and my brother got pissed at me and he deleted the game and i beat the shit out of him for it <laughs> and then my dad wanted to beat the shit out of me for beating the shit out of him how old were you 17 no 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 10 <laughs> okay, right. 10 12 you didn't you didn't pay attention to that brandon and i heard it all that is one that is a white Sox Dave hall of fame story that's probably been told this podcast more than any story his brother beating the shit out of him and in the history yeah. The... yeah the golden banana 191 yeah <laughs> you can at least empathize with me do you have a i can brother? empathize with with losing a game and, and fighting over a game i've never played donkey kong uh on the 64, 64. uh so uh Sorry, Dave was texting me. Do you um, do you have uh, siblings, though? No, not no. really. I do, but I don't. Okay. I didn't grow I mean, up with I didn't grow up with a sibling. I'm 16 years older than my sister. Okay. So we were both oh, yeah, raised. I'm, on, I'm actually on the opposite end of that. <laughs> You're on the bottom half? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were basically, basically both raised as only children. Yeah. So. But None my brother of, took every chance to dominate me in Nightfire. Yeah. I have three boys now, and I watch them okay, do what so you're yes, describing yes, to yes, each other. Yes, 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 But that that was like the most dick move you can possibly do to a sibling is delete their video game, and he deleted it. And oh, I really? still to this day, when I think about it, I get pissed. We off. You're talking it. siblings, roommates do it. Like yeah. it, it, it's, we did it to a kid on a hockey trip with his PS2. We took his memory card. That's he has to hit y'all. He has to hit y'all. Yeah, was you bad dude. It memory was, cards were a big fucking deal. It was bad. Huge. It was bad. It was bad. I I. Uh, witnessed the whole thing it was it was it got like I mean, that's hours of his life you just serious. erased yeah it was fucking serious that's a lot of hard work yeah i, I punch you right in the fucking i think he would have rather one of us fucked his sister <laughs> without question without yes! question Not even close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah top 10 game though have you ever played it yeah i have i'm not saying it's bad dave not a, never, not a banana guy. I've never played. It's also Desert Island games. If this motherfucker is yeah, one of Desert Island. That's the great thing about these 64 games like Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and DK64. They're they're one-person only games. What was that first game you mentioned? Ocarina of Time. But they take months to finish still. Like Halo now, you beat it in a couple days, you know, with the campaign mode. Yeah, but it's the online, dude. I know. That's what it is. That I don't even play the campaigns anymore. But Elite um, song. Elite song. Oh yeah, when that came on, we to, I think we talked about this. When that, did you see the Mario DK? Yeah, did, you yeah. saw the Super Mario Brothers movie, right, Brandon? That when that song came on, it was like I just couldn't help but smile, and it was yellow. I liked that it was yellow. Yeah, like the banana. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was, it the was game was yeah yellow cartridge. Uh huh. All right, Dave, take us into the third. Uh, I'm going to take us back to now. I'm going to go with Warzone. Mm. I love it. I've spent in the last four years since the pandemic started fucking hundreds of hours on that game it's elite but and that's the thing about like first person games now it changes every game you play and now it's it's got a, it's developed into streaming as a whole you watch pe like you watch people play video games now mm -hmm. and obviously you're making money off of it like people were making huge millions of dollars off of it off of warzone alone i love it it's I like it for multiple reasons. One, it's a great t if you're killing time, throwing Warzone, boom, two hours later, it's like it feels like it was five minutes. Great way to 
you know, get together with the fellas. Mm -hmm. You're not spending money. I love it. Yeah. In case, in case a war breaks out, you're prepared. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I know every single military strategy ever Flanking. because of war zone. Definitely Flashback. don't. Slide, slide canceling. Dave knows how to call in a precision airstrike. Do yeah. You? <laughs> have you ever called in a mortar strike with artillery rounds, Brand? No, you haven't. You fucking neither idiot. Have you, neither have you. Yeah, Dave. I have. I just did it last night, actually. And I've wiped a couple squads like that. <laughs> oh, shit. Is Spider really the best in the office? <laughs> I think um, I probably am now. Oh, yeah, no, at war, no fucking shit, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> at Warzone, who's better? At Warzone, Dave may be. I'm. Oh, actually, really? TJ. TJ. K Kareem is actually pretty. Was I haven't played with him forever. Kareem was pretty. Pretty Kareem's nasty. Good at video games. Yeah. I, TJ's is the best in the office. TJ is. TJ's nasty too. Yeah. TJ's the best in the office. I mean, I've I never thought... played this game. I've never played Warzone, but I know. I, but at here, here we go. I would say I am completely average at that game. But you just said you were the best. In the amongst, I'm the tallest midget in this office. You're not better than Smitty, though. I'm better than Smitty. Stinks of the game. But he quit playing it two years ago, though. He hasn't played uh -huh. it in two years. I yeah. I downloaded this at the beginning of COVID. I sucked at it. I got Is this. Is this the one with the gulag? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was like Jim Halpert. Okay. Just, yeah. Just, just, yeah. Just shooting, shooting the wrong the, team. And I would yeah. like jump out of that helicopter or plane or whatever to start the game, and I would feel felt like I would die before I even hit the ground a lot of times. Yeah, no, you're, you or know, it's okay. Listen, it was... every war needs a typewriter, too. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. making me up them? <laughs> I don't want to be fucking up them. <laughs> Listen, um, it's an important part of the business. This is hard, man. I, I, Whose pick is it? It's mine. Okay. It's just, it's, it's, you've never played it, right? No. Yeah. I think you'd like it, actually. I don't like first person shooters. Okay. I don't like that feeling. I don't like, it makes me a little nauseous. I don't like it. I'm, Again, on the I don't really like sports games. I need to I, I suspend almost, I play reality. Exclusively sports games. Yeah, I'm the polar opposite. I don't have any. I got a couple, but mostly mostly sports. fantasy. No. I'm gonna All right, Ed. Clock's ticking. I'm gonna take GTA. Mm. Which one? This is big. I yeah. know. This is huge. I was hoping this would come back to me too. There's a clear favorite. My there mind. is a clear favorite. There's a clear I favorite. I know, but I like one more than that one. It's your pick, brother. Be true to you. I'm going to take Vice City. Oh, that, you idiot. Oh, that you was fucking idiot. idiot. God what an damn. idiot. Oh, that's the one I was thinking of. Oh, that's the one I was thinking of, too. <laughs> no. The one before was so much better. Three? Three was so much better. I was between three and Vice City. Three was better than Vice City. Vice City, three? they tried to do Why too much. Hollering? But I just, there's more to I'm do. Because I'm passionate. There's more to do if I'm on a desert island. It's a year advanced. So I think there's more to it if you're on a desert island. That's why I went with that instead of three. Of they, course, I respect three. Three was the first one to take it from the overhead view to mm -hmm. like first person. And uh, that's when like you really felt like a bad boy. You're playing that. It's you like this the stars is fucking, all the way yeah, up. Like fucking. Do you remember the cheat code to get your stars down? I don't. I don't either. I know. The only but, one I remember is hot coffee. Remember hot coffee? I don't think so. You could fuck a stripper. Oh, yeah. Get the money <laughs> yeah. and then kill that her. That was a big deal mm -hmm. when that came out. Oh, yeah. Big, big issue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hot coffee. An issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, does first person shooters apply to GTA? No. Okay. I figured not. To me, it's not first person, right? It, it, it became first person. Did it? It, it gave yeah. you the op It gives you the option now. Okay. All but right. But no one really does. I'm talking about the ones that. Oh, uh, where you're. you're the camera like, is your yeah, eyes. Yeah. 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 Duh, yeah. But like Red Dead, Vice City, those are different categories. So are you in on this? That's third person. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's great game. Yeah. Great game. Well, now, which one was – the? Uh, when I was in college and we had a PS2, I think that's when Grand Theft Auto 3 came out. Yeah. That and was, then Vice that was City right was before, the next one? Vice yes. City was the next one, yes. Okay. All right. I yeah. like 3 better. So what, what year would you say this came out? 2008, 2009? Probably around there. No, no, it was it was when I was in high school. I graduated 07. This was probably like 06-ish, I would okay. say. Okay. Yeah, I mean, great game. It was... Is this the one they're running back? Aren't they running? The I... next one they're doing on PS5, they're just running this one back, right? No, it's it's based in Miami, though. I've seen the commercials for it. It's, it's, it's yeah. It's I mean, I guess you could see say it's like Vice same. City, yeah. but it's going to be so much more than that yeah it's basically I, I all haven't of florida any of the, from what i can understand have you played the new ones 
Yeah. I haven't played any of the new ones. I'll definitely get in on that with you when like the new one comes out. Yeah, like Aww, GTA GTA four is my favorite. Well, I, streaming with them. I don't think it'd be anyone's favorite, but it's like the one that meant the most to me because of just the timing. Like GTA four to me was like my favorite. Also hot Which coffee. Is Vice City, hot coffee right? no. is Vice San Andreas. My bad. And GTA four. Okay. I never played San Andreas. That's when you can fuck a stripper? Oh. Yeah, San Andreas. You can fuck a stri- stripper in, in three too. Oh. Yeah, and then you kill her and still. If you can't fuck a stripper, I'm out. No, but hot coffee in San Andreas is like they show everything. Whenever Madden oh. put in the fucking yeah. stripper mode, that's when I was I was in. Yeah, <laughs> sure. That. <laughs> um, that, that's a. I think people are going to be upset with that. Vice pick. City came out in 2002. Well, they're not going to be upset with that. If anything, people suck San Andreas' dick. That I was, feel. When I was in, you also school? just picked a fucking Donkey Kong game. So why don't you shut the fuck up? It's a globally recognized video game. Get so is what he globally. just said. Hold on. I, you know what I want to see you do, Dave? What's that? So you never got your last banana. Yeah. You never got no, it. No, I never got oh, it. Oh, we got to get that banana. We got to get that banana. I've No, you got to get that I, banana. I, I, get that see banana. I will. 2028. That's exactly it. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly you it. You can do it. Dude, I, I want to do it, but it would be the same thing. I've thought about buying. First of all, N64s are more expensive now than when they were Buddy, originally you released. You want a 64? Insane. I got that? a 64 for you. I, you. I wouldn't be here for a week or two. Why yeah, do you we, just keep dude, throwing want, up obstacles? Yeah, I'm want, not. Do you want free do you want content? This or not? Free content. We'll do it. An epic fucking journey. We'll do it. And you and you can take as long as you want, as long as you need. It makes it good. And then when it gets close. <laughs> 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 that would be... I would slit fucking throats. We should bring his brother Rudy, that would, in here. Rudy, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, that'd be amazing. That'd be so great. Yeah, I knocked the wind out of him so badly from that that I think he's still probably is scarred from it. Mm. Chief, you're up. Not something you're proud of. No, not your problem. But that's uh, that's um, what happens. So can I take the original NBA Jam though? I don't. I don't think so. Personally, I don't think so. That's not like. I don't think so either. But I know I fucked up my whole board by not taking it. I'm stunned you didn't take it. Yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up. Um. All right, well, then I'm going to go to that same era. This is – I'm taking Bill Walsh College Football 1995. And that – what? You don't like that game? I'm just taking this in. I like – I go continue. Cordell Stewart, Colorado Buffaloes. Rashawn Salam. Rashawn Salam. You run the triple option. Cordell, you had the – you hit the C button. Mm-hmm. You just mash the C button. The guy would run like five yards at a time, break touchdowns. It's actually – the landscape of college football is becoming what college football, Bill Walsh College Football in 1995 was, where they only had, I want to say, like 36 or 40 teams in the game. You could do a 16-team playoff at the end of the year. Uh, it was I, – I loved that game. Uh, so that was that was a Sega game, Bill Walsh College Football 1995. Yeah, that was a skip school game for me. Um, okay. The only thing about that game is now you look at it, you could dive – if you're on defense or if you're on offense, you have the ball. You could dive 25 yards. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> you, you you could dive from hash mark to hash mark mm-hmm. on that game. Uh, but you're right, Colorado had the best team. They had Westbrook on the receiver. They were unstoppable. Yeah, they yeah. were. They were. It was, a, it was a fun game. It was. I loved. I loved. Well, is it an all time great? Like I, I don't know. That I think I've it's an all time great sports it's, game. It, it is absolutely an all time great sports game. Okay. Yeah. I never played it. Yeah. It was yeah. I never. It was a spiritual Walsh? successor. It was a spiritual like, successor to. Um, to an NCAA football, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So because they were trying to make Bill Walsh the man, the man, no, yeah, yeah, and it didn't really work. Yeah, I never, never heard of it. I don't think <laughs> it was awesome. Great game, um, Rudy. Uh, I'm gonna go with a game that like changed my understanding of the future. It made me believe things I previously thought were silly. I'm going Red Dead Redemption Two. Red Dead Redemption Two. And I'll. Uh, I have a, how did that? What did that? What did that instill in you that you didn't previously have? I'll tell you. This is the first game I've ever played. Piece of media, piece of technology I've ever seen that made me believe, or at least entertain, the simulation theory. It's that realistic. That you were that I've, deep I've heard into this. it. The amount of detail in that game makes me wonder if we're in a similar situation. Mm-hmm. Because, for example. You're in this massive, basically condensed United States. It has multiple states. The NPCs in the game, if you break down like a, someone's shed or something, if you go back to it, 
the NPCs in that area will then go and start rebuilding it. And over the course of days, you'll go back and it'll be like a little bit more rebuilt, a little bit more rebuilt, a little bit more rebuilt. The amount of detail in it is utterly fucking amazing. And you could spend years in it. I slow played this game for seven years because I didn't want it to end. And I still wow. haven't finished That's it. That's pretty savage. Yes, because I loved it so much I didn't want it to end. It was. It's one of the most impressive. So you haven't finished it now? No. It's a horror game too, correct? No. Why did I? It sounds reason. like a horror game. It's a western. It's a western. Okay. It's a western. Oh, I didn't. I've I've heard people talk about it like it's an all time great. I obviously know nothing about it. For some reason, I thought it was a, a horror. It's Ru Grand Theft Auto. It's the same people that made Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, okay. it's Grand Theft Auto on horses. It's yeah. Uh, Rudy, I, I uh, so you know Tommy, right? Yeah. I I I bought Red Dead Redemption too, and then uh, I will start a game and start a journey and all that, and then I'll go to bed, and I'll wake up and my uh, almost I, I I noticed. All of a sudden, I went to bed. Everything was fine. I wake up and I've, I'm wanted for murder. Yes. <laughs> and during the night, like the Tommy would side. murder people and save it. And then I would be like, it changed my game experience entirely because I'd wake up and my whole thing is ruined. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. My whole reputation has gone. Yeah, your fu the fuzz is all over you. Yeah. The bounty it's, hunters. It's one of those games where, where the things that you do follow you. Yes, big time. And Which is part of the simulation thing you're talking about. There's this a particular player in the game where if you go to his shop steal something from him and you fuck off on a horse you go like three states away and you're sitting in, in like a, a pub or whatever a saloon he'll show up yeah and try to beat your ass He's for stealing coming, a huh? shit and he just keeps coming it's incredible it's incredible but and if even you don't steal from him it is is it's all kosher <laughs> the craziest thing is that like i still see videos of people discovering things in the game where like if you do this this happens yeah. And it's been eight years, nine years. It's crazy. Is this PC? Uh, you can get on PC now. Okay. Initially, it was, I got I gotta on PS4. Get another, yeah, I got to get a PlayStation again. I bought it. And I, I just wish I liked games more because it was good and I, I see the vision, but like, I don't know, something about I will was, say this. The one thing about the game is the beginning is slow. It was so slow. The beginning, it, it really takes a jump up. The beginning, like first three hours, I that's understandable because I was in the same boat and yeah. I just fought through it. The first three hours are very very slow. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. You're just stuck it. in a snowstorm. Yeah. Yeah, I never got through that. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Donner Pass Simulator. Yeah. It's it takes a while. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. A lot of people got lost on that. They yeah. they really slow played the beginning and made it hard. But then once you get into the out of the snow, it's Amazing. wild. I yeah. believe it. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, I'm going to do the PS2 NES combo one more time, and we'll start with the PS2. Um, it's in the vein of this game doesn't exist without NBA Jam coming before it, but is NBA Street Volume Two? Yeah, great uh, pick. A game that is not. I don't too much like the NFL Blitz games, the MLB Slugfest games. Ooh. I never really got into that kind of style of of game. I did like I NBA Jam, but I like more realistic. But NBA Street Volume Two was the first game that made me collecting stuff was fun like the first you start off you're in a plain jersey and then you win a little bit of money you can buy a larry bird jersey you can buy a clyde drexler right. jersey That's or a right. dominique wilkins jersey oh my god buying those throwbacks on that game was so fun yeah. then i'd have a michael jordan jersey like everything about that game is just it's immersive you can play on a you can play on a blacktop you can play I, I just loved nba street volume two it was incredible time um I guess I'll move quickly to my next one because that's unless y'all have something to say about NBA. No, that was I, it's one I didn't play a ton, but I remember that when you said that like you get a Larry Bird jersey, yeah. get a Clyde jersey, like that struck something. When I got the was... Larry Bird jersey and the matching Nikes, I thought that this is I'm the coolest person that ever lived. Yeah. Look at game. my video game character. I am. Yeah, <laughs> I that's how I want to be perceived in yeah. life. Is, <laughs> is just that guy. So me and Nick played this at the sleepover. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I hadn't played it in forever. I loved yeah. it, but I was like, I, we and him were so excited to play it. And I remember, like, back then, I loved the Bad Boy Pistons. Yeah. But I made a crucial error. So he went with the Rockets. Yeah. He had Yao Ming. I went with Pistons. It was a small lineup. I went Ben Wallace, who's an undersized center. Yeah. And I went um, Rip Hamilton. Yeah. And I went Chauncey. Ballers. Yeah. I did not account for Yao Ming because yeah. goaltending's allowed. Yeah. I got <laughs> rinsed. <laughs> but it is one of those games, even if you hadn't played it in 20 years, I, I played it a couple of months ago. You can pick it up. And it feels like you never left. Yeah, I, it was. Yeah. You're right. It was all yeah. coming back to me. Like I remember, you, like you, you go up, you do a skill move, and then yeah. you wait for someone to jump for an alley oop. Yeah, and then you like pump fake that one so that the center jumps. Yeah, and then you, 
incredible. Why didn't like knowing how cool that was? Like, why isn't the big three like the real thing? Like, cool. What What do you, you mean? Know, is it because obviously they all can't like jump good players 30 feet are in, in the it? air. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, just three on three. It was there was something about being a three on three was fun too. Yeah, and just like the locations were fun. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm I talking, never played NFL Street. Um, it was okay. Uh, and, and they had fun. FIFA Street too, which I believe did did well. Yeah, NBA Street to me was the only one that grabbed me, and that was like it was the best. This one. makes sense. Uh, my next pick. Um, what did you guys say you thought I would have picked? I said Tech Mobile. Tecmo Super Bowl. Yep. Tecmo Super Bowl for the uh, for the Nintendo. It came out in 1991, which was I was early adopter of the Genesis, so it was the last game I ever bought for the uh, Nintendo, and I kept playing it even when I had my Genesis. Uh, Tecmo Bowl is one of my favorite games of all time, but it had limitations. It only had 12 teams, maybe 16 teams. Uh, it didn't have a whole lot, you know. This had every it didn't have stats. This had every team, every stat. It had Randall Cunningham as the QB for the Eagles. It had uh the better version of Bo Jackson. It had Christian Okoye. Tecmo Super Bowl blew my mind when it came out. That is, and I I'm looking at four blank faces. None of you have ever played it once. No, I'm aware of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm it's aware just of, before me. I'm yeah. aware of your face when playing it. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. And there was utter joy. You were, you mm-hmm. were. It was like you were being plugged into a dialysis machine. Correct. <laughs> <Right>, yes. <laughs> yeah. If in fact, if my life comes down when I'm 69 years old, and and they say a dialysis machine or dialysis machine or a Nintendo with Tecmo Super Bowl, I just plug it in. What's the difference? Hook it up. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's play some ball. Yeah. Uh, so those are my two picks right there. Uh, just staying true to myself, boys. You love, love your, it, Brandon. That's who I am. You love your board, don't you? I I fucking love my board. Brandon. I could take my four games, and now, now I do have a fifth game that I'm I'm nervous it doesn't come back to me. If I get that one, I've completed. I, I'm not going to show you, but if you see, I've scratched off. That's the first four names on mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I have a. Eh, maybe. Um, did you have Sega Channel, by the way? No. We had said that was not yeah. a lot of people even remember that existed. Yeah, but you said you didn't have a Dreamcast. That was on Dreamcast. No, that was on Sega. That was on Sega Genesis. Oh, was it? No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't have that then. Uh, all right, that was all my right. picks. Rudy, uh, I'm gonna go with a cultural pick. What's that even mean? You'll know. You'll figure it out. <laughs> You'll. I'll explain. I'm going Tony Hawk's Underground One, Thug One. Now, for a skateboarding video game. This game has an incredible story mode. You start off as a nobody. You're in New Jersey in the dumps, and then you're at the local park tearing it up, and Chad Muska pulls up. For those that don't know, Chad Muska at the time was like the David Beckham of skateboarding. Pop star, fly. The whole story mode is cool. You're so cool. And the cool thing about it is, like, I was getting into skateboarding at the time. It also, like, puts you on to, like, incredible music. If anything, like, the soundtrack to Thug One is worth its weight in gold mm-hmm. so it was like a cultural thing where like if you're if you know what's going on with that music and that game it was just a moment in time that that, was, that spanned from every tony hawk to soundtracks were awesome they were awesome. right they were all awesome mm-hmm. right exactly so what's better about are they still coming out with those? no i don't think so no not the thug ones i mean they may have done some like remastered i know tony hawk had like a new game come out like a year or two ago but i don't know i can't remember what it's called what's better about this than pro skater yeah, the story mode. Yeah. The story mode. Like, the other Tony Hawk games were incredible, but it was just, like, get these, like, they took, like, the achievements where it's, like, you got to get, like, skate. a manual, like, a skate or, like, yeah. a manual, like, across the park and then hit a McTwist. You know what I'm saying? Burial McTwist. This one had all of that, but then it also introduced a story mode where, like, you go to different places. So then in Thug 2, they had, like, famous skate spots, like, in Barcelona. And also at the time, Jackass was, like, at the height of its popularity, so they would have, like, Steve-O in it. Bam. Oh, so no it was shit. like kind of like plugged in. It felt like you were like a part of the world that it was, was a cultural. Pick. That, yeah. That exactly. was also <laughs> that was on the pro skater ones too, though. They had Bam in and those guys. Yes. But in that it was one, cultural, Dave. It was a cultural pick. This yeah. is I'm talking about this was the apex. You could all argue mm-hmm. Thug 2 was like more when it got like the most popular, but the first one just had a certain oh, genesis qua. Yeah. I don't I I don't think I ever played this. Oh, dude! I played Pro Skater. Pro yeah. Skater were, was I remember fucking that. amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Any, well, yeah, it's the, the cool thing. Logo. It's like what Brandon said about like hockey video games. Like a ton of people never skateboarded. All yeah. play Tony Hawk mm-hmm. games, which is really impressive. Yeah, that, like you reach outside of that. So yeah, that's me, uh, Chief. 
Uh, I'm going another sports one. I'll take FIFA 14. Uh, I think that was mm-hmm. probably the best one. I think if soccer, like real soccer, could figure out how to have their gameplay be more like FIFA, it'd be like the it'd be unstoppable. You think it'd be popular throughout the world? I at that said point? America. I said oh. America. <laughs> yeah. I said America because it, it it like removes all like kind of the things people complain about because it's always action. You're always going towards a goal. It's it's a great game and I love I love FIFA. Um I during COVID I bought two games. I bought FIFA and, and Warzone. I tried probably two nights of Warzone. I'm like, ah, I can't do it. I'm back to and back to FIFA. So I love I think it's I think it's probably similar to like Tony Hawk in a way where yep. it's like the majority of people who play that in America don't play soccer. But it's still very, very popular. It got game. FIFA wanted, got me into soccer. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Like I think I'm that's a probably huge. True for a lot I'm a of huge soccer head now. Yeah. It's probably the most the sport I watch the most or the most closely. And it's all because of FIFA. I bought every FIFA since like probably 11. It's the game I've logged the most hours in by far. Yeah. By far. And I think it's still really good. It's not like uh, like I said for like the hockey games or or, or Madden. Where it just got like like almost too realistic. It's held on the best. Yeah, it's still gone you downhill. Can still do like yeah, I do career can, mode. Yeah, yeah. I, I, have, just, I haven't played. I, I I've never got a PS5, but I played. I logged a lot of hours on that PS4 mm-hmm. during COVID, yep. taking Nottingham Forest to the Champions League. Exactly. Yeah. That's the funnest part is you could you get. I put myself on a team and I basically just do like fan fiction of myself okay of like a pro soccer player <laughs> did you put yourself like on a low level team to yeah start, start yeah. low build yeah. up big money buy yeah. champions leagues ballon d'or so controversy you, and you can do that with manager mode too so yes. like you can start as like you know can't like kansas city whatever's and then hey, go soccer all the nerds up. yeah shut the fuck up okay dude, you pick you tech like mobile dude <laughs> yeah i've never even heard of you Bill don't like Walsh. fifa Huh? You never played FIFA? Oh, I love it. FIFA 94? I, I love it. I love FIFA. FIFA's great. Yeah. yeah. I, I, it's the same as you, actually. COVID really. Yeah. I was like, well, fuck. Everybody else plays it. Let me try yeah. it. And, oh, shit. It's good. And 14 is the best one. I, uh, that's why the is one 14 that, the best I one? I think that's the one that sticks out to me. Um, it's like one of the only games I had that, I, that I've that i played post-college that I like cared about and enjoyed. And that was like the year. So I was probably like 20... 14 is like a good late, one. Yeah, that was that was like the end of uh, end of my twenties. Was FIFA finding 14. a video game you like post college is, is a special experience. It's it hard. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to do. So FIFA still holds up for me. I, I, I love. You really got to make effort to play video games these days. Yeah, which I I don't. Yeah, I don't. I wish I I I kind of like I see it still up on my mantle, but it is a PS4. I've been thinking about upgrading just to yeah you know, get is back. Is it in. worth it to get the PS5? Yeah. 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 Much money as you guys got, yeah, no problem. Mm-hmm. Just go, go Good get point. You one. Good point. It looks cool. Uh, okay, to me, I need a football game if I'm on a desert island. I'm gonna take the first Madden, and uh, I'm going with 04. Who's on that one? Vic. Uh, Vic. 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 Mm-hmm. I just, like I said, I'm not sure if it's the best one, but that's what I know I played the most. In that time period, you just ran around with Vic all day, and yeah, and it was still good. I remember. I think that's unanimously agreed. Most that that's the best, the best one. one. That's I would the go only 05. man I had. I would go O five because it introduced the hit stick. Uh, that's true. Uh, true. But, yes. But but, but O four shift the right thumb stick up. O four, O five, O six. You can't go wrong. You when did it get bad? Oh, it didn't get bad for me until PlayStation three, probably. Okay. Yeah, pro- maybe early tens. I remember I, t- I took a long time off of it. I was always more of a college football video game guy. But I remember going back. Um, it, was, it was at HQ2 in New York. And Smitty, like, I think it was like our first, Ed, it might have been our first trip out there in 19. And I hadn't played Madden probably since Madden, like, 2008. <sighs> and he's like, oh, you guys want to? And I tried to play. I'm like, this game fucking stinks. Like, it just was not. It was not fun. So Madden had definitely had a run, yeah. but I think it's like I don't know. I I can't stand. It. I don't know why people. But Madden 04 back then you could do the training camps. And that yep. was fun. The, the, yep. like mm-hmm. everything was fun about it. Though they had the moments at that point, right? I believe almost certainly. I yes, think they did. Yeah. which is like you know you got seven seconds. This yeah. happened. The Falcons versus Bears, whatever. Yeah, that you could kill a lot of time. That was great. Yeah. Uh, White Sox, Dave. I saved this because I wanted to have the argument. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 is by far the best Tony Hawk. It's the best soundtrack. The The levels are the best. It evolved to the point where, 
like it wasn't it didn't have too much going on it just had the right amount going on um you would play with your fucking boys all day long in mm -hmm. college i love tony hawk pro skater for and like you said it, it you know it, it was culturally culturally significant with yep. uh Bam margera and and all those guys so culture pick is that your pick? Yeah, that's my pick. Oh, hell yeah. THPS4. So every skating game is just a culture pick? It's a culture pick. It's a okay. culture pick, okay. yeah. It's a culture pick. Well, I was four the best. That's the one I enjoyed the most by far. Yeah. And I played through, like, probably the first five, six of them. What year did I that come out? Uh, that came out... Oh, four-ish, I'm guessing. 2002. Two? You could play tennis in it, too. With the skateboard. But yeah, why? you go to Alcatraz Island. You can skateboard in, in shopping carts. It was awesome. Oh, Alcatraz. Damn, you just brought me back. Yeah. Fuck, that level is so sick. But that that was when the soundtrack really took off. It had like ACDC and a bunch of like that one is name, really good. name Fuck. bands. Fuck. That, it was my favorite Tony Hawk by far. I think it, and I don't know, do you consider it a sports game? I guess yeah. kind of. I mean, yeah. Skateboarding is in the Olympics now. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. you got to be an athlete to be a good skateboarder. True. But um, this Get is like on. this is one of my favorite sports games if you consider it ever. Probably my favorite sport game. Yeah, that's ever. a good one. And then um, for my last pick, I don't know if I want to go like super nostalgic because I know there's a handful that would induce a lot of great conversation. But like we, I don't need them on a desert island per se, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so on that note. Longest intro ever. I'm filibustering. It's hard. Right. No, I, I will do it. I'll go with Roller Coaster Tycoon. Whoa. Wow. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Hold on. Dave, think about it. Whoa. Think about it. Whoa. We're talking. Oh, Dave, Dave. It's for the culture. Dave. It's for the culture. Dave. Dave. Yeah. We're, you're on a desert island. Desert yeah. island. What if somebody rescues you and they see that you've been playing Roller Coaster Tycoon? Roller Coaster Tycoon. Tycoon. We spent hours and hours building the loop-de-loops and we? shooting the fucking things up. Why not yes, Farm we. Simulator or something? God, the Roller Coaster Tycoon? Roller Coaster Tycoon is an all-time well, classic. So what is this game? It's you've exactly never what heard, it sounds like. You've never heard of Roller Coaster Tycoon? No, I don't think so. Chief, Sim, I, maybe Sim, I've heard of it, but Sim I've City, definitely never played it. SimCity Farm Simulator. It's just building an amusement park. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. It's. That's a it's an awesome game. It's a classic. Yeah, it's, it's a an classic. it's How an awesome. Never heard of it's an awesome Coaster game. Tycoon. It's an awesome game. I don't know if it's a good Desert Island pick though. Well, it's a frustrating game. That well, I think like, you'd just be better off killing you, yourself. You yeah. heard my preamble. <laughs> I yeah. wanted to this is like prototypical 90s computer game. Yeah, it's super fun. Like lore. But like the funny thing about Roller Coaster Tycoon is that like there's like 20% of the time you're like, yeah, this is banging. This ride is sick. The business is doing good. Oh, and then all of a sudden. The rest the, of it is just cho a chore simulator. Yeah, because you're all of a sudden the park's like overcrowded by 3X and people are puking yeah. everywhere and the yeah. garbages are overflowing and the bathrooms. rides are like. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you're out of money to build fucking food stations and you it, it teaches you how to be an economist, basically. <laughs> Definitely something you're going to need to know on a desert island. <laughs> yeah. How to balance a budget? Sure. No, no, not, not at all. No. Yeah, you will. Not even kind of. You, yeah. You're not going to start any form of currency on your island? You're not. No. Who who are you trading currency with? The island next door. Neighboring no, islands. You're not on no, dude. What? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'll build you this roller coaster if you give me a canoe out of here. Yeah. Like what's, the, what's the trade? Well, how is that helping you? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I can't I really can't talk shit. You, I don't know what this game is. You've never heard of Roller Coaster Tycoon. I might have heard. It's like ringing a bell, but I definitely don't Chief, remember. Chief, I think you can talk parks. shit about this pick. Uh, listen, there. I have nothing against the those simulation type games. You're talking about the five video games you're going to play for the rest of your life, and one of them is building fake roller coasters. You're going to... Uh, talk about uh, three and three basketball uh, in yeah. like Rucker Park, New York. You got, you the sure, Rucker Park thing was sweet. Uh, I Dave, sure as fuck I know, am. Dave. I sure as fuck am. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna build loop de loops and and make the tracks too short and fly the people off them and kill them all. All right, it's a good game. It's it's a crazy pick. All right, to me. There's man, this is so hard. A lot, a lot left out there. There's so many. There, uh, yeah. There's In between a like three or four. We're talking Desert Island. Probably not the best game for a Desert Island because it's so fucking cutthroat. But it wouldn't be true to myself if I didn't take it because it probably is pound for pound my favorite multiplayer game, and it's Mario Party. 
I fucking love Mario Party. Yeah. I know like, people do. I didn't do nothing. The mini me. games, uh, stealing stars, the way it's constructed is just masterful and just like how you interact with it. People would re- legitimately be mad if you stole their star. Like relationships would get ruined. Um, yeah, it's a great one. Yeah. I, I just love Mario Party. I understand maybe Rudy only likes it, but. I yeah. like it. I, I don't. I don't love it. I. It's an enjoyable. It's an enjoyable way to kill an hour or two hours or have fun with people. I wouldn't wake up the next day and be like, "Oh man, shit! I, now I gotta go play some more Mario Party." Like it's not that type of game. Mm-hmm. But but it is like it. It's it's fun to do when you're doing it. Yeah, that I'm, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, I'm 186 and 0 in uh, Mushroom Mix Up. That almost certainly isn't true. I've never lost. What? That almost certainly is it not true. It cannot be true. 186 and 0. Mushroom mix up. They ever played? Uh, no, I play. I played the modern Mario parties. Or which one are you talking about? The very first one. 64 Mario Party. 64, okay, so yeah. I'd like to see you play Mushroom Mix Up. I would too. We'll see. I, I, it's one of those things where it's like Billy Mitchell. I don't know how I feel about. It. I want to see you go 187 and 0. I'll see screen caps. But sounds like you're a little scared to. Yeah, it to does. Show off. Yeah. I gotta think about this. I, I don't think you believe in yourself. I haven't divulged into online gaming yet, so some things. Are just, oh, you don't want to. So you never took your your game to the big leagues. Some things are better left for yourself, dude. Yeah. Ed, I'm not yeah. kidding you. I had a, a ten a ten year gap or so of playing video games to playing video games again. They evolved. It's like you like were it was like your awesome powers and you woke up and you're like, well, what there's flying cars everywhere. Well once we had to it's compete crazy once how, we how, once how we could get in a game with kids in Asia, it was over. Different At game. the drop of a f- yeah. yeah. It was over. Yeah. Um yeah, Rudy hates Asians. No, I mean they just body us. Oh. Yeah. Even the Serbians. Well, there's almost- a lot of Eastern Europeans that just destroy me in fucking Call of Duty. <laughs> just Serbian women destroy me. Chief they don't like Americans either. <laughs> I know what you're going to take, by the way. No, I just don't like you. Really? Yeah. Okay. Write it down. Write it down. Write right. it down. Um, I'm just going to go with the college football 2005 as well. That was... Uh, Larry Fitzgerald? Larry Fitz, yeah. Um, I, I would just recruit all day long. And this is the one where we had we had a quad my freshman year. We had five guys living there somehow. And it was like, hey, you have a game. Well, it's like, oh, I got class. Well, then we're going to simulate your game. Well, I guess I'm not going to class. So, like, we played, like, four years in a in a semester, and all of our GPAs were, like, in the twos or lower. Yeah. And it was directly tied to this game. So I love that game. I love the recruiting aspect of it. And it was – and it's a game that, like, I remember, like, winning the national championship with Notre Dame against my buddy, my freshman year buddy, Derek. And it was like the whole room was watching. Huh. And it was like a big deal. So shout out Derek. Uh, he was our fifth roommate. But it was it was great. It was a great my game, co- Brady Quinn. My college buddy that I played NCAA against was named Derek, too. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Is he- yeah. Dude. That's weird. That we- yeah. <laughs> Um, when it comes back, it's only right if you guys do like a. I've more. already told Derek. I, I, I'm going to send him a. P- I'm going to send him. A, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to send him a PS5. Get so everybody together. Uh, it, I mean, I don't know about that particular year. Like, uh, obviously, different years. Like, yeah. I would have picked like 07 with Reggie Bush on the cover. Okay. As the peak of that era, but it, 03, 04 it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, n- playing college football games with your college buddies in college. Yeah. I think is the peak of American society. All right, so I have to make a correction. So I think it was – we were doing it in 2005, but I'm pretty sure it was the 2006 game because they always came out. Yeah, a yeah, year ahead of yeah. So yeah. this is 2006. And I don't remember. Is, is this the one is where you Brian could – Johnson? Who is that? Create uh, – I remember yeah, creating like, like a mode. high school. Like, oh, and it do that too. like my fucking Road to, glo- Road to Glory, yeah. 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 Like the same end zone, same mm-hmm. bleachers, everything, yeah, and it was like weird how close it was. Detail. Yeah, you could change that the names, was cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was and you had you had to buy the memory card that someone preloaded Dude. all the actual players' names. No, right? you bought you bought a memory card, and you would have to find the plug, the hookup, and I would you drive it to them, leave it with them, and they would they would do it switch for it. For yeah. yeah, yeah, right. You'd have to have a guy for it, basically. Yeah, we all had a guy. My guy was named the Mario. Video- <laughs> the video game, <laughs> He's not guy. Bucky Cox. Your guy's named Mario. Yeah, your video game name is Mario. It's my like video game guy is name. He's literally come up on the yak. He's not Bucky Cox on my phone. He was the guy that owes the mentalist uh, found his number in my phone. But that's my video game guy. His name that's is Mario. That's so fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, you know who it was? Uh, it was Desmond Howard. Oh yeah. Okay. The throwback. That okay. was that was the game. Rudy, 
Last pick. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go something that there's no way anyone's going to take this, but this is a me pick. And Desert Island, this is going to kill hours. This is a kill hours pick. MX versus ATV Unleashed. <laughs> MX versus ATV Unleashed. This game does not have a lot going on. It is, <laughs> what is MXs it? and ATVs. You can pick yeah. it. You can do races or you can just do freestyle. You can do backflips, heel clickers, cliffhangers. But it's just an open map where you're just on a motorcycle and you just go. You could eliminate 30 to 50 years on this game. No problem. The synapses are not firing. The blood is not rushing. This is just a straight up, I can do this forever. It just never gets old. MX versus ATV but is Unleashed. It, does it ever get good? Uh, well, obviously it's good or you wouldn't have said it. It does get good, but it never reaches It never reaches those euphoric That's why I asked moments. Brandon. But this is a very specific Desert Island pick. Also, incredible soundtrack. Never incredible played. soundtrack. So this, this I said Brandon's like, Tecmo is like, you want to die, Elsa's Machine? Yeah. This is a Percocet drip. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a Percocet drip for thirty years, mm-hmm. straight chilling, drooling, I, but very fun. I like to play this. Yeah, looks pretty cool. All right, uh, Brandon, Mister Irrelevant. All right, before I, I give it, I mean, s- s- nobody took a Super Mario Brothers game. Nobody took. A, there's so much out there. Street Fighter, you know, all this, all the Maddens that we didn't pick. Um, Could you read that? I can't read it. And it's too long to be what I'm about to say. Okay. What, what did you I, guess? That was the other What's sports your, game on my board. Ken Griffey Slugfest. Yeah. yeah. I think it's great. Well, okay. first of all, I would have picked Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball on the Super Nintendo. That's what I would have picked. I didn't think of that game, but um, <laughs> if you'll notice, I now have scratched out the top five on my board, so I got my perfect board. And my game is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, select, start. It's Contra. Contra. <laughs> Rudy, you've probably never played it. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah. I, I could take you downstairs right now. We play Contra, and the next four hours would be the four happiest of your life. It's just Contra is a Nintendo game. Uh, one, it came out in 87. Uh, it's just running through the jungle and shooting stuff. That's all it is. It's just it, anybody in here ever played it? No. No. Nobody. No. Anybody ever heard of it? I've yeah. never heard nah, of it. I feel yeah, like I've, I've heard, heard of it. it. The the cover that I just Googled looked familiar, but I... I'm staying true to myself. I won't win this draft, but Contra is the ultimate one other buddy. Let's get 30 lives, and let's just fucking go shoot shit. <laughs> and and it's, 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 it's... That sounds awesome. It's a Super it's, Nintendo? It's No, it's... Well, there is a... There's a Contra 3 on the Super Nintendo. Um... The so, Alien Wars. So this is old school Nintendo. This is old school Nintendo. Three wow. of mine were old school Nintendo. Which the cover I, is so cool. It's it's the great. It, to me, it's it's up there for greatest video game of all time. Okay. Um, I like it. I love it, and I, I realize nobody in the room feels that way. That's fine. But if you've ever experienced life in the '80s or '90s, you you've spent Friday night eating pizza and playing this game. Oh, they have a PS4. They, they, oh, there's a, yeah, they it, went on a run. It kept it kept coming back. But Did they you never, play the new ones? They never quite recaptured the magic yeah. of, of, of the first one. Uh, but yeah, I know you always do this, uh, Eddie, but there's so much. Like I could have picked NHL hits here. I really mm-hmm. love that I game. I hated that game. You hated that game? Yeah, I didn't like it. I'll kick you in the face. Okay. Um, <laughs> no Super Mario Brothers. Is Donkey Kong Country. There's so much out there. Yeah, there's a t- I mean, you could do honorable mentions. Your honorable mentions. Yeah. <clears throat> Baseball stars, NHL '94, uh, NBA Live '95, Wii Sports. Yeah, yeah. anybody with Wii Sports? Never got. Yeah, super excited. we had a Wii in college, and we just played Smash Bros. We never played. I never got into the, like the tennis or nothing. It f- seems like that game was made for you. Yeah, like, yeah I feel right. like you could. It was. It was just I was a little too old at that point. No, you weren't. I was older than you, and and Wii Sports was like. Perfect. You'd be the only guy to get in trouble but for corking a bat just, in Wii Sports. <laughs> you just said, though. You would juice. You would steroids. Like, <laughs> right. yeah. The older you get, you just kind of unfortunately phase out of video games. Agreed. Like, Wii was just, I didn't yeah. get into it To me, Wii much. Sports is is the ultimate age 4 to, to, to 90 game. Hmm. Like Anybody could pick that up and love it. I'm sure I'd love it. I just never got into it, unfortunately. Okay. Do you ever get gifted a Wii Fit? 
Oh yeah, multiple. I feel like there was a whole era where people were like, "Oh, I'll get you like a Wii Fit." Yeah. It's and totally it's, fun. Yeah. yeah. Everybody or, or everybody in that era has they have their TV stand. Yeah. They have their, their their DVDs lined up, and then there's that Wii Fit thing sitting on the bottom that never gets used. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Here's my speaking of being fit. Um, this, yeah, this DDR. Was, my brother played Dan Stands for Evolution, and I would hear him pounding on the fucking living room upstairs carpet. I'm like, what the go upstairs he'd be soaked in sweat from that game mm -hmm. and he played for hours yeah he'd bang his feet everywhere like doing high, high knees for hours basically yeah ddr is crazy that was crazy i was like in, I, I, that game scares the shit out of me on that note i wish i would have taken um roller coaster uh, tycoon too no guitar <laughs> hero i i was oh, addicted to guitar yeah. hero think of guitar hero i yeah. was very addicted to guitar hero for a oh, solid two years in college God. i thought of guitar hero too it was i didn't i had probably like a three month span with it i didn't have that long but it was something it once you got good at it and you're like holy shit you're like jimmy page it, yeah. it was it was fun and our sophomore year of college the baseball team kept getting in trouble for underage drinking like every weekend and we eventually got put on a one strike policy. You you can't you fuck up. You're off the team. And so we would sit in my buddy's apartment and play rock band with the drums, the singer, and mm -hmm. we were like we would do that five nights a week for hours until two in the morning. Man, I cannot believe I didn't think of that. That is such a big one. Shout out that, to that's I especially on a dead island. I honestly island, didn't dude. take it because I thought you guys would be excited to talk about like the mid 90s computer games like that Oregon Trail just or, not yeah. not that they were great games obviously but board. it brought back the nostalgia and I yeah. wanted to talk about them that's why I took Roller Coaster Tycoon no, Guitar Heroes Guitar Heroes good yeah that yeah. would have been much better than Roller Coaster Tycoon mm -hmm. that was a waste of a pick you could very, do a billion billion yeah. of these drafts yeah, you, you really could um, Duck Hunt yep yeah, there wasn't too, nothing to that game that was the problem yeah. with that one I, I just remember, it was cool to have the gun control yeah. though yeah. Yeah. did you like Snake Dave Snake on the on the phone. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was addicted to Brick Breaker on the. That was like on a the, take a shit yeah. at, at work on the Blackberry. On Blackberry. Anybody yeah. ever love a Super Mario Brothers game? I didn't love it. No. I, I, game Boy. I feel like I liked some of those, like Mario sixty four or anything. Not really. Besides so. the party in the. Cart. Um. Did you ever play Battle Tanks? Anybody? That game was sweet. No, um, I played Battle Toads. Uh, Battle Toads is fun. Yeah. Crash Bandicoot. I WCW wrestling. I never liked Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, on sixty four. You just pissed me off. What's the best wrestling game? The first one, WrestleMania. Oh uh, no, no, no! Uh, either um, one of the WCW NWO Revenge. On, that's, on, that's the on one I was talking about. Yes. Or No Mercy, WWF No Mercy, and all that was was they had they made these two WCW games, and then the the license changed. The company that made those switched to WWF and made No Mercy. Mm. So those are the three best games. That makes sense. Um, those I, were fun as fuck on 64. What, what about this with Duke Nukem? First oh, those are shooter. cool. Those are cool. They showed boobies in that one, so I like that one. Yep. Right now, backyard baseball. Uh, yeah. That, that's that, one that the audience will, will wish There we go. Something. That's what and, I was yep. going. I but didn't it, even think of it. And that's what I was going to take that at my last pick, but then that's where Desert Island changed it a little yeah. bit. You know, like it's fun, but I don't know if it's a Desert Island. You play it for an hour and you're like, hey, yes, exactly. Yeah. I got my 90s yeah. fix in. I'll play it again in a couple years. Yes. Yeah, I was going to put SSX Tricky. But 1080. But that's a desert island game where like, I, I I don't know if that's gonna gonna get you far, you know. It's a it's a banger. But yeah, can I talk know. to you about not liking NHL hits? I didn't love hits. I didn't love NFL Blitz. I uh, didn't love Blitz either. But yeah. but hockey to me was perfect for it. It I, was. I didn't I didn't Blitz. like the Nets catching on fire. You're a like, purist, dude. Yeah, yeah kind of. You want to yeah. cycle the puck, dump right, it in. Right. Yeah. I mean, you can knock people. When you knock people through glass in that game, it, like you felt it. Like it, it really had a, the rumble to it. It was. Yeah. No, it just it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't for me. I'm the funniest I'm thing. I would like just be the GM and I would like simulate the games. The Blitz funniest so thing fun. to me about NHL hits is that for how ridiculous it was, it still didn't surpass the most ridiculous thing that happened in real life NHL, which is Mike Milbury going into the stands and, yeah, beating, true. and, and beating a man <laughs> with his own shoe. Yeah. Fast. NHL hits had stuff where you could hit someone into the 15th row. They never had a feature where an NHL player climbs into the stands and assaults a man with his own shoe. <laughs> NHL NHL hits still had a level of realism where it was it was still about passing and shooting. Like it was still it wasn't like NBA Jam where you're doing 980 degree flips yeah. and all that. It was but like I, there was a level of realism to it. But, yeah, but it was like 
not as ridiculous. It was almost like it was like in that weird middle zone for me. Like, yeah, was, I thought the NHL games were like awesome for gameplay on their own. Yeah. And then you were like, ah, like do the same thing, but now the net catches on fire. Like, I don't care. I have one complaint about Blitz, and I'm my memory, this is just what I remember about it. Mm -hmm. My big issue is that I felt like the players weren't fast enough. Like you were just a sitting duck. I agree. The 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 steps yeah. seemed labored. Yeah. And then you just get creamed. Yeah. Like you couldn't yeah. you couldn't tear off you on like a long run. Yeah. Yeah. There was no there was no like gradual increase in speed. It was you popped a joystick or controller yeah. as far and it, they just were like running in mud. Blitz yeah. holds up though. Like it's still fun. Like I we would have a blast playing Blitz right yeah. now. Yeah. I love Blitz. Did you guys like NHL two thousand ten with Kane on the cover? I don't think I was playing video games. That so point. that was when I was in college. Obviously, the Hawks just took off in the city. Yeah. And speaking of how a lot of like skateboarding fans they or video Picked game up. fans exactly, yeah. I have multiple friends that were addicted as fuck to this game from like Southern Illinois that never even heard of hockey, similar to yeah. Brandon, and yeah. are now the biggest hockey fans in the world. Well, do me a favor. When I, you talk about the Blackhawks, I need you to look address me, please. Yeah. For now, and I will do that. <laughs> yeah. But he was talking about 2010. So, okay. but I, I, I have a brother who's 10 years younger than me, and we got to a point where he just beat me in everything because, like, I feel like your video game peak is probably like. 11 to 14 and I was like this is just not fun I'm losing to a 12 year old I, that's an interesting I think it's like 19 to 22 yeah I would say college really? I think college is the peak of video games me I mean for skill yeah because I was in college for, and I would I would be like good against my buddies at school and then yeah. I come home for Christmas break and it's like alright let's play college football and he would just beat the shit out I of me I think you just remember the 11 year old version of you too fondly like you you remember yourself being better than you were. Mm -hmm. Probably. We, we all do. Maybe. But I, I know that the 20-year-old, 21-year-old, 22-year-old version of me was not beating the 11-year-old version of my brother. Okay. So that's, that's bad. Yeah. So I know this is going to sound fucking insane. You, I'm used you to that. would probably. Yeah, yeah. Not really but, a disclaimer. So <laughs> when I got reintroduced to video games after the pandemic started, um, we game time was doing really well at the time of Smitty and, and all them. And we would play with like different celebrities and different professional gamers and shit. And there was this one guy that I played Call of Duty with. He was unbelievably fucking good at this video game um we follow each other on twitter and i didn't stay in touch with him or anything but he retired when he was like 24 from playing professionally because he was past his prime and he was talking about it like it was a fucking retirement that uh like like a hall of fame running back made. Mm. it was it was wild and he's like i'm i'm too old to keep up with these guys at, right now yeah huh, it was I, I, crazy no, that i was like like seeing that. the competitive video game scene like currently with especially shooters is so young it's crazy like it's even like fortnite and call of duty are like kind of in the same time frame mm -hmm. but like fortnite in particular like once you hit 19 it's like if you hit 20 they're gonna look at you like you're lebron Pariah. yeah <laughs> yeah like like lebron lakers it's crazy but they're just better at it dude like their synapses just go quicker it's, yeah. it's, it's crazy um a couple other mortal Kombat yep. didn't get yeah get mentioned street fighter okay. they, they yep. have to get a mention for sure um do you guys remember Medal of Honor? Oh yes, that, I thought dude. that was a fucking the D Day awesome. level. Yeah, that yeah. was like the first first. What do you call it? A story or map? Like yeah. you storm D Day Medal of it Honor. It was pretty horrifying. Yeah, yeah. it was scary. And it, was it scary. came out yeah. like I want to say that game came out like. Is that the one? Didn't you also parachute in at the beginning? That's D Day. Yes. Okay. Is that Me Medal of Honor? I remember. I you remember getting the off the boat specifically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the seasick animation. Yep. Yeah, M4 and Grand. Right. And yeah. it came out like not that long after Saving Private Ryan, I feel like. Yes. So it's like you saw that in the movie and then you're playing that in the game and like you would have like these big, you know, parts of the beach get blown up. You have to like run into the hole. It was great. And then you had like a sniper level where yeah. you just have to snipe people through like some urban environment. It was that game was sweet. Uh, Need for Speed. Did you guys have that oh, car racing game? Yeah. I thought that was a great Need game. Need for Speed Underground. Sega? Need for Speed Underground. What? No, is that was, Sega? That was PS. Uh, that was PlayStation. Yeah. What yeah. was the one on Sega they had one? A car racing game. Oh, they had, they had California sure. Cruising or yeah, something? Cruising like USA? Cruising, or that's cruising what it was. USA. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. 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 Cruising USA. Uh, Blades of Steel. Did you have that, Brandon, as a hockey game? I did. I I, I just it didn't have a lot of replayability. Like yeah. I think 10 minutes in, you get bored. The the fighting in that was cool. Yeah. Uh, that was about it. But that's all I had for my honorable I just matches. got a couple more here. Twisted Metal. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. We need to the talk about that. The dude with the tires for arms. The clown. Ice cream, ice yeah, cream the, truck. The, yeah. the ice cream truck. Yeah. That was a fucking yeah. great game. Twisted Metal is huge. F-Zero X. And uh, my last one is Sound of the Hedgehog 2. 
on Sonic. Oh, I Sonic also had Sonic too. I had Sonic, a Sonic needs game. a mention. He's underwater. Iconic. The second level is just yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I had Sonic. Um, I had a Sonic one. And then the last one I have that is Metal Gear Solid, that has had a good run. Mm-hmm. Dude, you that know series. what? And I just popped into my head. You know, it was another banger. Remember Splinter Cell? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You can't uh, Tom put it on Clancy. This. Tom yeah, Clancy you can't, Splinter Cell. Yeah. You can't put it. I don't think you can put any of them on this. But that's that was a big one. That was the OG Xbox, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The night vision. Mm-hmm. If I remember, Siphon Filter. Mm-mm. That was on PS uh, PS One. It's probably the only game like that I ever got into. It was a shooter like that. Siphon Filter. Yeah. What does that mean? Um, is that a name? It sounds yeah, like, it it sounds like a of, baseball it, player. It was the name of the project that you were doing. Interesting. You were like, like you were trying to keep criminals from letting a virus go or something. Uh, I've never played either of these, but I feel like some gamer out there is going to jump through their radio or whatever and punch in the face if we don't say Assassin's Creed or yeah, uh, the first or one. Resident Evil. I Resident like, Evil Two in particular, yeah. yeah. I feel like those were yeah, like yeah. I no, people Assassin's go crazy Creed about people. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. yeah, I think that people have like cooled down on it because like the new ones are just so much worse. Mm. But yeah, that first one Resolute. and that second one, Fable's another big one. Um, I gotta throw Gran Turismo out there. Gran Turismo, games. damn dude, you could do a billion of these. You drafts. could have a forty round draft. Yeah, this. we should have just done a part two and saved the honorable mentions. I mean, I, there's so many that like you easily could. Oh, we should just done a surprise like twenty five round draft. Just go yeah. all day. Oh my god, <laughs> I would, I, I would love that. Some of the my other honorable mentions are probably not gonna be ones you guys know, but they're like story mode games. Horizon Zero Dawn is like a very newer game. But it's like some of the best sci-fi ever. Far Cry Three, incredible game. You just dropped into a, a tropical island. The story mode, the guns, the sneaking around. Those those two in particular. Those story mode games. And I can't believe I didn't pick this. It was because of Red Dead Redemption Two, Skyrim. Skyrim. Never heard of any of people them. are gonna be so. Never I, heard of them? I mean, I've heard of them. I, I I bet people who are listening to this are probably screaming that Skyrim didn't get mentioned. Skyrim yeah. not being in this draft, I'll take the blame for that. I had to go Red Dead strictly because of the simulation theory. Yeah. Skyrim's incredible. It makes me sad it's not in here, but incredible. What do you remember? A couple of years ago, uh, Glenny Balls streamed a horror game. I thought it was Red Dead. It was Five Nights at No, Freddy's. it was Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, was that what it was? Okay. Yeah. For some reason, remarkably I thought it was... different video games. I don't know that I've ever seen one single graphic of Red Dead Redemption like come across. I don't my believe eyes. that. There's That's, no way that cannot be. It true. just cannot be true. Do you have do do you I, do you have TikTok he, on your phone? He, no, I actually I don't. If okay. you have you walked by a screen recently, like th- that's you you absolutely have. It's not possible that you you know some of these games and you don't know that one. It's possible because I don't. That's crazy. You definitely have. no. I mean, I had heard of it for some reason. I thought it was a horror video game. It can't get scary. Um, all right, there's, I'll read them off. There's slavery in it. That's scary. Unless if anyone else has any more, do you have any more? Well, no, I'd just like to say tune in uh, tune in later uh, tonight. Me and Rudy will be uh, streaming uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, <laughs> you know what's funny? Me and, me and Nick did do Roller to- He made me do Roller Coaster Tycoon <laughs> one time. Was it good or like was the stream? It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. I did another one with uh, Zoo Tycoon, and I bought... Um, I got dinosaurs, Ooh. Mm. and I didn't know this was part of the game. One of the dinosaurs busted out, and it turns into a first-person shooter <laughs> with a tranquilizer gun, and I had to shoot a stegosaurus. That's kind of awesome. And I got him. Game crashed. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so here's the uh, here's the list. Vote who you think had the worst draft and should not be on the poll. White Sox Dave, Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Donkey Kong 64, Call of Duty Warzone, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, Roller Coaster Tycoon, uh, Mario Kart 6, Eddie, Mario Kart 64, NBA Jam, GTA Vice City, Madden 04, Mario Party, Chief, GoldenEye, NHL 96, Bill Walsh College Football 95, FIFA 14, uh, NCAA Football 06, Rudy, Halo 3, Super Smash Bros, Red Dead Redemption 2, Tony Hawk's Underground, MX vs. ATV Unleashed, Brandon, MVP Baseball 05, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, NBA Street Volume 2, Tecmo Super Bowl Contra. Oh, man. Yeah, yours is good. MX is going to sink me. Um, who do you got, MX Brandon? versus ATV on uh, How do we vote? You say so you, yeah, you could, yeah, you could say it. It's fine. Okay. I, I voted for that piece of shit, White Sox Dave. Okay. Uh, because he, he put Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> and he was very oddly defensive about uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, you can't comment on it. And that's Jeez. an awful I, one, one, two. If we're just being honest, I bet you if you Googled five it's an lists awful one, and clicked one. the first five, that would be on at least one of them. It's an awful one, one. Chief, unfortunately, I have to vote for Dave as well. Rudy, oh no, hold on, let me see this. 
Let me see this. Yeah, you're kind of all over the place, man. Uh, <laughs> let's pile on. I'm going, Dave. You guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> Dave, with that said, you are voted off the island. Who did you vote for? Uh, I would have voted for Brandon. I don't like sports games all that much. Um, and it's not even anything against Brandon. I just don't like sports games that much. That's why I would have voted for him. But you guys have voted off at least three of the most popular games of all time. Let's see. Hold on. <laughs> Ocarina of Time is widely regarded. As okay, one of, okay, Warzone, I'll give you. Um, you had a, GTA Three, absolutely. You didn't take that. You didn't take it, dumbass. That's oh no, you didn't. I didn't. I, <laughs> I was I was down between that and Tony Hawk. So Tony Hawk, alt, the, oh, I picked the best Tony Hawk version. David. You started the draft with a bad one, one, and ended. No, up with I fucking did. Roller coaster tycoon. You. You took... You handed Mario Kart 64 to Eddie. Yeah, you probably could have got Zelda in the second round. Because you guys are idiots and haven't played you the game. You could have gotten that Zelda in the fifth round. Rudy. Rudy. It's because a great, you guys are, haven't played the game. It's a great game, but yeah, you could have you 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 held it. I, Everything went south. You, you had two mistakes. You it, didn't have to take Ocarina because no one else is going to take it. And you also... You went wild boy with like a, a sleeper dark horse on roller coaster tycoon. I explained that pick. I even said I it was to bring up conversation. But you didn't have to do that. So you fell out of your fell out. <laughs> you <didn't> <laughs> okay, yeah. You I mean, we've been that. conversing for an hour and a half at that point. <laughs> yeah. oh, so to bring, no. so in the name on, of conversation, he I'm brought up a game somebody. that nobody had played. Who are you calling? This is not the dozen. I know it's not the dozen. I'm calling somebody. What's I hope this is Mario. What's up? You look awfully uh, shitty right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so I'm doing a draft right now. Best video games of all time. Go. Uh, Mega Man 2. Uh, of, of all, across all. Yeah. Course. Yep. Goldeneye. Ocarina of Time. Breath of the Wild. I'd just like Mega to point Man out. Two, said Golden Eye before. Mm -hmm. So I took, uh, they voted me off. I took Zelda Ocarina of Time 1-1. One, one. And they think I'm fucking insane for it. Oh, no, absolutely. That is, that is a very, very valid... Who person. are you talking to? Kevin Clancy. Oh. <laughs> oh, Kevin fucking Clancy. Okay. <laughs> These guys are talking about it like I picked... It's an all-time fucking great game, and they're talking trash on it, and it's making me sick to myself. He stomach. picked Roller Coaster Tycoon. I did that in the fifth... Swine. Kevin, Kevin, swine. Kevin, listen to us. Listen to us. He picked Roller Coaster Tycoon. I picked it in the fifth round, and I said it was a joke pick. No, you, you didn't. didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I said no, you I did I not say it as a joke. I said I picked it because I wanted to induce conversation, not because I actually enjoyed the game for fucking my entire life, hours on end. Also, that, are, they, are they mad about Zelda? Are they mad about Roller Coaster Tycoon? What's the problem? So my draft was Zelda, DK64, uh, Warzone, Tony Hawk 4, and Roller Coaster Tycoon. I prefaced... I want. I, I said I'm like oh games like Oregon Trail, Roller Coaster, Sim City, blah blah blah. I went with Roller Coaster Tycoon. I could have gone with any fucking video game on earth. I know that. Oh, I sure preface that. that. Don't talk about the Roller Coaster Tycoon pick. Doesn't matter. I'm focusing on Zelda. I, I, if you're I getting voted say, off, and the reason I, I we're voting you off, I'm is not talking about the vote. I'm talking about <laughs> Zelda. Yeah, I, I honestly can't even dig in necessarily to the rest of your games, but I would say that any draft that has Ocarina of Time can't be left off. That, it's that good. It's that good. You guys are in well, fucking. The third insane. game he said. He said Goldeneye before that. And Goldeneye was on the I, list. I said Goldeneye could have gone 1 1 too. If I'm picking, if you're giving me, like, I mean, the first game I said was Mega Man 2. If you're giving me one game to play for the rest of my life, it's probably Ocarina of Time. Wow. Mm. On a deserted island. On a deserted island. I mean, you, you, you guys are the only people in the world who would say this. Uh, I, I mean, the gaming community is one that will tell you that. A, a Zelda choice is is a excellent choice for one one. All I know is that the weird kid next door would play it nonstop. Yeah, weird kids yeah, next door. Video games, you fucking I'm just idiot. telling you. That's why I've never played it. Brain no. dead meathead jocks in the room. It's like we're doing a video <laughs> game draft. There's gonna be nerd games. All right. All right. What's yeah, wrong I've with never nerding out it. on video games? The the bigger That's problem. What video games are you idiots? <laughs> Dave would not have called you if he did not get voted off. He got voted off because of Roller Coaster Tycoon. No, it, that's that's the biggest issue. Dude, here. fucking Rudy took MX versus ATV Unleashed. I gave a good reason. ATV Unleashed. 
I don't yeah. know what that is I, either. With, with what pick? Yeah, fifth. His last pick? My last pick. I um, had no problem Chief with the Zelda took pick. Bill Walsh college football. Why are you throwing us all under the bus <laughs> like this? Brandon, I, your list is just different. It, it's I respect the fuck out of your list. I didn't really have any attachment to any of those games. I recognize their, how great they are all time. There's so many good games. I feel like even all of your final picks should even still be like classics. There's so many good Definitely. games Definitely. I and I said that with my last pick. I don't care about the last pick. <laughs> go ahead and go ahead. All shit right, talk about. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, if you want to talk shit about Tycoon, fine. But anybody go for it. Anybody downplaying Ocarina of Time is like I, you shouldn't even be in the conversation then. Thank you, Kevin. That's all. You're welcome, Dave. It's it's super popular. No, 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 no. You don't you don't get it. Kevin weighed in. <laughs> yeah. Apparently that's the fucking expert. <laughs> it is sad that it's off. I mean, you it's just a, called a random guy. It's a great and game. He's the first that, guy that popped into my head. That was not random. You guys have definitely talked about yeah. Ocarina of yeah, Time before. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. so, What you did was you called somebody that you knew would say Ocarina of Time. You, Chief saying the weird kid next door played it. If, that's what. I, if I you've ever given the game a chance, start to finish, Dave, you would come out and be Dave, like, that is the you greatest were game I've ever. Because of Roller Coaster yes. Tycoon. But you guys vote... Roller Coaster Tycoon is more culturally relevant since that's a... No, that's, that's Rudy's a, thing. I understand, but that's something that I'm we... Doing, I'm, I'm the culture more, guy. It's more culturally relevant than MX versus ATV you, Unleashed. You wanted uh, Zelda. Contra. None of us had heard of Contra, really. Well, that's on you. Um, Dave, here you had the opportunity to have... You had the first overall pick. You wanted first overall pick. Yeah. You could have gone fifth and gotten NBA Jam and, and it's not Zelda. my it's not my fault you guys have swine taste I gotta go but to that's the part of the that's part of the game <laughs> actually bring this up Brandon. on the yak Brandon no no, no it no. doesn't come out till Monday <laughs> yeah <laughs> bring it up on Mondays yeah deal <laughs> all right uh that's it everybody thanks for listening thanks for watching uh see you tomorrow